Oh boy. The slate tomorrow is fire. We got a dandy. I mean, especially the early morning slate. It's like, it's like you were saying last week, it's almost too much, but it's not because I'm ready to, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to go on the front lines and battle mainly because we have a classic to start things off. NC state is heading to, uh, what is it called even now? Yum, yum center. Some shit like that. Uh, on the, the best team network. in America, <laughs> Dude, this is this is they're gonna win here. You realize this, right? They're not gonna win two in a row. They, they are. They, they're still partying with in their fucking tights. <laughs> they are beating this shit ass NC State team. Give me the Louisville Cardinals plus eight. I can be talked into a lock here. <laughs> yeah, not for me. I can uh, be yeah. talked into a lock. Yeah, Beanick, what's the napkin got this one at? Just out of curiosity. He's looking it up. He, he his algorithms don't have. Yeah, I've got to I've got to pull up my Google sheet again. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll, I'll he's studying NC Doppler. NC State he's, off a loss. Yeah, he's stu- he's studying Doppler radar right now. He's like, hey, <laughs> uh, no, NC State. What do you mean? They suck. They will find a way to lose this game. Uh, NC yeah. State minus six and a half for the the cocktail. See. Back, yeah. See, oh, shit, I could ask Vegas for that line. <laughs> <laughs> well, that fucking work, and I could have just looked on fucking Visa's betting splits or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Seton Hall is heading to Butler. Uh, the Bulldogs, fresh off that huge win in uh, in Mil- Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, where the fuck is this line? Why am I not seeing it right now? Is it three and a half still? I'm not seeing it right now. It's off the board. Fuck happened. I saw it earlier too. Three and a half, right? Three and, I don't see it right now. Do you see it anywhere? I don't see it on the, on both books that I'm looking at right now. Uh, I, I got four it. and a half over on Visa. What does everybody else got? I'll just have an odds board pulled up for the entire, the entire yeah. show here with yeah, the way this is do. going. Um, I got four and a half. But, is that what you got, Noah? Uh yes, we've got four and a half. Butler favored by four and a half. This has climbed look recently because it oh, opened. Wow. I, I believe I looked at it. It was three and a half like two hours ago. Whether it's three and a half, whether it's four and a half, whether it's five and a half, Butler's covering this bullshit. Get this Seton Hall team out of here on the road, struggling at Georgetown. It's Patinos, Big East Conference. It's, it's not Halloween. It's Patinos. Lock it up. What are you doing here, Mac? Oh, I, I'm with you. Uh, third, three out of four road games. This is a sell high spot for Seton Hall. Butler's going to pull away late, blow this thing open. We're going to triple lock this thing. Woo-hoo-hoo. Cocktail right, napkin. Let's go dogs. Cocktail napkin got out. this thing. Got Butler winning by more than two possessions here. We're getting under two possessions. Free throw line, I think, is where you're going to win this thing. Butler, 13th best in the nation, 77.7% from the charity stripe. Uh, and Seton Hall, uh, they have uh, fouled plenty uh, and 351st in opponents' uh, free throw shooting. So um, that's that's where you're going to get to the line because they play pretty physical defense. If if we're getting some refs with some active whistles, triple lock, folks. Butler Bulldogs. Hinkle will be rocking. And GBO Farms saying another book out there does have minus three and a half currently. Get uh, it. Jump on that. Um, what is it? I need to get in on that. I can't promote that right now. But uh, Ohio, <laughs> Ohio is at Western Michigan. Western Michigan uh, is catching for red hot. Western Michigan. It feels like a good spot to fade the rest. It feels it? a great spot for Ohio, right? I think this is a lock. I know. Yes, I'm with you. I'm I don't with like you. road chalk, but yeah, get this Western Michigan shit out of here. Ohio. <laughs> this up. is a lock. This is, I feel yeah. pretty fucking good about this. Bobcats, get it done in Kalamazoo. If you're going to the game, stay safe. Check on Phoenix weather report. Noah B77 underscore. But remember also to hit uh, Waldo's liquor pitchers. Uh, 
before and after the game. If you're one thing I've learned about this planet in my 40 years of existing is uh, it's always good to be fucked up when a when a oh, know, yeah when a big storm's on the way. You know, That's um, a yeah, it's definitely, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what I, that's what I thought Beanick would meant why he said like he's gonna get ready for the storm. I was like, dude, this guy's doing Jaeger bombs in his fucking basement. What's going on here? No, no, he's buying canned goods. Well, you, you know. got a, you got a sandbag any part of the house that's weak because then water might be able to get through. Oh, uh, we we gosh. actually have a tree that fell in our backyard. Uh, if you want to see it, you need no, somebody to move a tree. I know a guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this guy's excited about it. I'm surprised. I didn't, I, I'm surprised it wasn't included in the text message. You know, a tree fell in the backyard. Um, t- Towson is at Northeastern. Northeastern's laying two. Oh yeah, baby! Is Northeastern about to go on a run. I think they're going to win this. I do too. <laughs> Rob's cracking me up. Yeah, I'm on. I'm not going to lock this one though. But I do think Northeastern's going to win this one. I will lay the two with the with. With the uh, what are they? Not the terriers. What are they again? Huskies. Huskies. Yeah. 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 Uh, what are you doing in this one? I'm really tempted because Towson. Towson just played an overtime game, and they got to travel. I, I, overtime on Thursday night. That is. I I I like Northeastern here. Yeah, it's the noon slot. Give, give me my guys again. Let's go. We're gonna start winning some ball games. Let's go Northeastern. I said he mentioned a Northeasterner. Mac took it as, oh, we're betting Northeastern. Again. Let's go. Again and again and again. <laughs> this guy's getting sandbags. I don't want the house to flood. The fuck's going on here? What is going on in this world? What's going on here? Basement has flooded this. before. Usually it's like the sump pump. Like if it gets into there, uh, then it creates a mess in the basement. So tough. Don't want that. Uh, don't want that. So. Uh, why do I keep having a hard time finding this word? The uh, the shit in between the wall. Why why am I drawing a blank on this again? Cement. No. Um, no. <laughs> it's <laughs> like my analysis there. It's uh, insulation, correct? Insulation. Why do I struggle with that? It's twice in a row that I've I have, haven't been able to think of that. Maybe it's my CTE. Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't play football, uh, right? <laughs> yeah. May, maybe. Yeah. There. Yeah. Don't play football. You might not know what insulation is, um, but uh, yeah. Dad, you don't want that to get wet. B Nick. You don't want your insulation to get wet. All right. Elliot money just figured out why the basement's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> Slope sides. Can I give me up cement? <laughs> Hey, look, Max basement, they just cement everything. You know what I mean? It's all cement. <laughs> so it's pure cement in here, baby. Oh man. Uh moving mm. along. Uh Northwestern's catching nine at Wisconsin. Ooh. The white on white situation here. Last time they played Northwestern won by two, 54 to 52. This is an interesting game because both teams are uh well, let me get this straight. Wisconsin's 333rd in pace. Northwestern's 342nd in pace. Give me the points. Lock it up. Yes. And and the last couple of times these two have played, Northwestern won their last year. And then the other time, it was like a five-point game. Northwestern all day. Yeah. yeah. Give me the points. points the whites. Can't have that. Can't have that that many points. That's like a 1,000 points in a game like this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tennessee is laying seven and a half at, at Georgia on a midnight train to Georgia. I think we should lock up Tennessee potentially here. Georgia, Georgia is co- coming in hot, but what if I told you, man, fucking Georgia, like under Mike snow white, they're like 19 and four in their home games there. That is true, dude. I mean, I kind of like this Georgia team. I do too, but I like the spot for Tennessee. I'm with you on that. You might uh, have AKA, AKA Badger is right. I do fade Wisconsin just because I don't believe I don't they're about to go on a skid. They're about yeah. to go on a skid. Yeah. They're way too high right like now. I don't believe that they're really that good. No, they're not. They're not a top ten team. They're playing like one right now, so they're going to come back to the pack. And I picked them to win the Big Ten. 
Uh, By the way, I'm laying the points though with uh, with Tennessee. I'm, I'm not going to lock it though. What are you doing here? Yeah, it it is a, it is a little high, kind of telling us Tennessee is going to drill their ass. I am with you there. Syracuse is catching 13 and a half at North Carolina. I think the Q's are going to cover this, but I do too. I think we got to fake Carolina. They just won three straight road games and coming back beat, home. They just beat their rival NC State. Should we let? Should we bet Syracuse? Yeah, I think and, yeah, and Clemson. Yeah, this is a this is a letdown. Let's go. This is like that Florida State game a month ago. Syracuse hangs into the wire here. Q's plus thirteen and a half in Chapel Hill. I know I, I, it's a scary play because I took Duke or I took Syracuse plus I think 13 and a half or 14 at Duke and it was hitting for like three fourths of the game. And then Duke just went on a big time run and just blew him out the fucking gym. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. Um, GBL farms. You said I locked Tennessee. Did I, I couldn't remember if I did or not. I always double check it after the show. Um, Maybe. I might've, I might've. Yeah. But I don't think it was seven and a half, right? I think it's climbed up a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's tempting. Moorhead State's laying four and a half at SIU Edwardsville. Moorhead State's a wagon. Can't can't fade that right now. I, I tried it the other night with Eastern Illinois. They pissed on my fucking face. And uh yeah, give me Moorhead State minus four and a half. What are you doing here? No, I had this one as one of my locks. I love Edwardsville here. I I, I think Edwardsville Double double road trip for uh, Moorhead. Like you said, they're playing their asses off. I think Edwardsville bites them here. I think they win the game outright. Give me Edwardsville, lock it up. This guy's locked. We've gone through 10 games. He's got nine fucking locks. This fucking crazy bastard. I went to the sticky notes tonight. I'm going to have like 20 of them. <laughs> VCU is laying five and a half or six if you're hip. At LaSalle. Fuck out of here. Give me the explorers plus the points. Sprinkle the money line. I'm not buying into this VCU bullshit. All right. Doubling down on Fran Dumfrey and these explorers. What are you doing here? I'm on VCU. I, th- I, th- I think they got the much better roster. I think they're finding themselves. Uh, I'm not locking it, though. There is a four and a half out there, too. Chad is right. LaSalle, there. for what it's worth, has St. Joe's on deck. I just don't feel like VCU is this good of a team to go win back-to-back road games against decent teams in the A-10. Give me the Explorers plus the points. Um, if you're on VCU, there is a four and a half out there too. Uh, moving along, Presbyterians taking on Gardner Webb. Um, what the fuck? I'm seeing Gardner Webb minus seven and a half. Trying to check the other book to see. And I don't see the fucking game. Seven and a half is what we're calling it on the only book that I see it available at right now. Um, Did you want the number? I have it. What do you have it at? DK has Gardner Webb minus eight. So it's gone up a point or a half a point. Ah, man. Presbyterian burned me the other night. Give me, give me Gardner Webb minus. No, no. Presbyterian covers. Presbyterian covers. They're, they're, close enough. I feel like we're not betting this though. Mac, what are you doing here? Yeah. I, I, I like Webb just because they're coming off kind of that humiliating loss to Charleston Southern. They've lost what six in a row. I'll take uh, Gardner Webb here, but no, I'm not, uh, I'm not betting this. Stony Brook is laying a point and a half at William and Mary. Bill and Mary. Dude. I actually think we should consider betting Stony Brook here. He's played an overtime game less than 48 hours ago. But William and Mary's just not good. Stony Brook's at least all right. I'm on Bill and Mary. Let me tell you about these seven wins. They're two and William. one. They're two and one. Let me play. let me tell you about these seven these seven wins that William and Mary have. Regent. They did beat American. Program. They did beat American. That's probably their best win of the season. Uh UMBC, who's complete fucking ass. Old Dominion, actually. We thought it was, you know, it was a sp- Virginia Lynchburg. Did Old Dominion uh lead by 20 in that game too? Probably. Fucking they dude, bastards. they lost to Pepperdine by double digits. Um they beat Elon and they beat Hampton. No. Stony Brook is a better team. Stony Brook's winning this game. Are we battling here? 
I don't think I want to battle here. I, 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 I'm going to pick my spots. I, I don't know if Bill and Mary is one of my spots. <laughs> I'm locking the Sea Wolves. I, I told you I got educated on the Sea Wolves out there in British, British Columbia, Vancouver Island. Just can't take this Wave and Mary bullshit. You know what I mean? Trying to sprinkle this shit. Well, look, Wave and Mary is 310th in the nation in defense. No not happening uh, uh real quick scott ask a good question i do uh what when when the game is less than tw- uh, 48 hours so if you play a late thursday night game and you play saturday at one or two o'clock in the afternoon i don't think it shows up early but i think those last 10 minutes you run out of gas usually so that's my logic on that eastern michigan is catching seven and a half at miami ohio I hate this game. I hate it too. I hope that <laughs> I hope that points? <laughs> actually I'm seeing six and a half out there elsewhere. So if you do like Miami, Ohio, I'm taking the fucking points, even though I hate Eastern Michigan forever. I mean, I don't think it's a crazy play to take it on the money line. Plus two seventy. No. Miami, Ohio sucks. I could see. Should we bet I, this? No, <laughs> no. There's 133 games. Like, the, and I think I felt we fell for this a little bit in the trap last week. Of we 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 bet too many, maybe. Uh, I, it, like you get you get greedy on one of these first Saturdays, and then it's like you know we really don't have to touch Eastern Michigan, Miami of Ohio because we're not even going to be able to watch it because there's so many other good fucking games at that time. This is gonna be Noah's only option when the blizzard hits. His t- TV's out. He's gonna have to yeah, <laughs> drive the car to oh, oh yep, Salanti. Yeah, I, I think this is an Oxford, correct? Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, He's maybe gonna not. Yeah, him. yeah. He's I, gonna call his freaking cousins in Ypsilanti or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> no, I think I'd be heading for Detroit. We'll get to that one later. <laughs> oh yeah, Detroit's back on the <laughs> schedule. <laughs> Saint John's is catching seven and a half points at Michael Crichton. Take a shot here. I'm on St. John's plus the points. Uh, Crichton's going to win the game, I think, but I think it's a little too high. Crichton wins by five. Mac, I'm locking Creighton. This is the schedule loss for uh, Patino. Get get his guys back. Get their focus back. It's a game where Creighton makes like 15 threes. Everything goes in. Uh, break the press. Make a bunch of threes. St. John's won four in a row. Like you said, Seton Hall, Marquette on deck. Give me Creighton in the middle of nowhere, Omaha. I had this as a for sure loss for St. John's, but it's going to be like the the Yukon loss where they cover. I hope but, not, but there's your lock music. Michael Crichton, welcome to Jurassic Park, says Moneyline Mac. Wofford is laying one and a half at the Citadel. Nice little in state fun right here. Uh, Wofford just didn't they just survive a crazy game? Wasn't I watching this? Yeah, and you were making fun of me for watching it. Uh, Wofford won 74 73, and uh, the Citadel got drilled by Furman. Why is this line so short? Give me the Citadel. I, I, yeah, I mean, Citadel's lost three in a row coming back home. 0 and 3. These teams that have been 0 and 2, <laughs> 0 and 3 in league play have been desperate. Uh, yeah, I'll take Citadel. No, I just touched on it. The hospital. Oh no, not again. Detroit Mercy Hospital. You know, <sighs> you know what it is, man. It'll be There's gone. There's a pending snowstorm coming in town, and with this storm comes a <laughs> Detroit Mercy Hospital victory. Everybody kind of flocks to the hospital when, like natural disasters happen. All right. That's what I'm saying. It's meant to be. This is what this, this, is, this whole storm is probably because Detroit, the gods, the gods are saying they need a victory. <laughs> they need a fucking victory. And we can hit this thing when all these other shit shows don't have the balls to go in on plus 400 plus 400. How does that sound? Does it sounds good. Rattling off your fucking tongue plus 400. Plus 400. All right. I mean, Northern Kentucky is pretty solid, though. 
They've lost bet. They've, uh, they, they've lost two in a row too. I, that's what when I saw that I go, oh, oh, this uh, this may not be the Detroit spot actually. Not that they've had really a spot other than they should have won at Ole Miss and the cover against NC State. Um, I'll take Detroit with the points, but uh, by default. But I'm not betting them. I'm taking a week off. I'll come back in on them next week. Yeah, I'm a little terrified of that game too. Give me the points though. No, no bet. No bet. Uh, you know what is a bet though? That the college basketball experience is brought to you by Cut. Cut is peer-to-peer social betting platform uh, that's U.S. based and legal in 40 different states. P2P social betting is a new and better way to bet. Bet directly against your friends and other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes. Uh, plus, tons of uh, tons of fun social features. They give it the feel of a betting social network, so to speak. It's pretty wild. You can bet on who's going to win a fucking golden globe. How about that? Anyway, cut offers uh great stuff though. They have a lower vig and fully customizable odds, create your own bets, all that good stuff. All right. Cut handles the payment side of the thing. So you don't have to, you don't have to camp out and s- outside your friend's fucking job. You're just fucking making pizzas. You know, you're just waiting for him to get off. <laughs> Got the fucking potato sack to throw his fucking head in and just beat his fucking face. No, you don't have to do that. Cut handles all that. Social features uh, equals group chats, betting leaderboards, head to head history, user profiles, fan groups, and much, much more. Uh, look, folks. This is a pretty cool idea. I got to be honest. Head to cut.com. That's K U T T.com. Use the promo code SGPN to get a 10% deposit bonus. Keep that potato sack for your potatoes. Russo brought to you by underdog fantasy. Look, underdog fantasy has a way to play alongside your favorite fantasy players all season long. They got NFL, NBA, NHL, college hoops, and college football. Simply pick higher, or lower in your favorite players, fantasy stats and cash in people. So what are you doing? Make along or watch along, make picks, maybe make a little extra cash on underdogs, mobile app or website, underdog fancy.com. Noah Phoenix been, he's been, uh, look, he's been battling the fucking storm. All right. He's been out there. He's been pushing the tree out of his fucking front yard, but he's also <laughs> been writing articles about who you should be taking an underdog fantasy. And I guarantee you had a moment when he was pushing that fucking tree, he had his gloves on and everything. And he's like, you know what? I am going to take the hire on this guy tomorrow. And then, you know, his dad was like, Hey, grab the other side of this tree. Damn it. Son carrying this fucking thing. Uh, what's up, buddy? What, what do you got planned for us tomorrow? I'm actually going to take a lower on somebody, but first I must uh, preface uh, that the articles they've gone three and zero until today. We're currently one and zero with two pending. Um, so hopefully it, it we're four and zero entering this massive Saturday slate. Um, And this one's going to be podcast only because um, this one starts at 2.15. It's not going to be able to have or give the article much life. Um, So, like, usually I'm only required to do or I'm required to do night games. That way people can get to the article and then go uh, place their entries on Underdog Fantasy. So this one's at 2.15. It's Notre Dame, Florida State. Give me Notre Dame's Marcus Burton. Lower than 25 and a half points, rebounds, and assists against high majors this season. It's nine and one. So that's a good trend. Uh, both teams struggle offensively. Give me Marcus Burton from Notre Dame, lower than 25 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Well, well I don't get a break, man. Folks, get on over there. Check out Noah Beanick. Always doing great works at sportsgallypodcast.com. He's got an article that'll feature the rest of those. So check out Underdog Fantasy, and when you sign up, sign up with the promo code TCE SGPN. And, under, and at that point, Underdog will double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars. That's Underdog Fantasy promo code TCE SGPN. All right, we are back on the college basketball experience, and uh, yeah, I, I almost wanted to bet Detroit, just couldn't get it done. But I, I let me tell you one. All right, you want the play of the day? Do you want to get here? I'm going to do my 1-800 pick Dundee folks. Do you want to get rich tomorrow? <laughs> Ask know. yourself, do you want to get rich tomorrow? Well then 
Come to the land down under. Dial 1 800 pick Dundee, and I'll give you great hits like this right here. The Vanderbilt Commodores are coming in to Oxford, Mississippi as 11 and a half point dogs, and they are going to win on the money line. Win, win, win on the money line. We got more of those plays coming up. 1 800 pick Dundee. Call that number. We're dealing out fresh winners carved straight to the fucking bone here. <laughs> I'm on board. Lock it up. I was with you on this. I, I didn't know Lock you were on up. this. Let's go. I'm with Money you. Line. Bandy, Money all line. Money fucking play. Yeah. Let down spot after Florida. Let Just down fucking spot. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Bandy's actually playing better if you look back. I mean, Well, the reason why they're playing better is because they're – three-man trio that they were pretty high on in the preseason they're all finally healthy Ezra Mangin Tyron Lawrence then Alan Lubin all three of them have been playing lately they've been putting up better results yeah I think the money line's a bit of a stretch but if you're betting on these guys stringing something together just like they did last year watch out I mean Stackhouse finished the year red hot during the SEC play We'll, we'll see. I'm not going to tell you guys on this one, but I, I can oh, see the argument. Coward. I can see the argument. You just talked it up and then you go, I don't know. Have you given out a lock yet? Oh, you gave out Butler. I was ready to play the music. Had the, I went and found it. No, Brad, I, I Brad, Brad Driver says Ole Miss is 10 0 at home. They beat Detroit by a one at home. Yeah, yeah. Hang Come up on, the everybody. fucking phone. Or pick up the phone. And we'll call one 800 pick Dundee. Let's ride with yeah. these Commodores. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Anyone got the Stonehill Fairly Dickinson line? Couldn't find that one while we were sitting. Talking here. dandy. Uh Stonehill is Fair Dick go. minus eight on DraftKings. Woo! Everybody loves Fair Dick, but this is a little north. <laughs> this puppy's up. <laughs> God, Stonehill sucks, though, dude. Yes, they do. I'll still oh, take actually, the points. I'll still take the points, probably. I think no. we should lay it, actually. Fair Dick has lost six in a row. Do they take it out on, on the graveyard? <laughs> Do they make this into a graveyard game? <laughs> I think they kind right, of fucked yeah, them let's up Let's take here. Fairly Dickinson, actually. Let's take yeah. Fairly Dickinson. Yeah. UMBC is catching 14 and a half at UMass Lowell. All right. Do they lay Look. 14 in every home game? What the fuck's going on? Every line's the same with this fucking team. UMBC battled back against Vermont. I almost feel like we should lock Lowell, but no, I'm not. It's just too many no. fucking points. Lowell like plays down to their competition. I'm still taking Lowell because I believe UMBC is a bottom 10 team in, in, in America right now. Yeah, this this would be one if it was a shorter slate, we would probably squeeze in there. But you got 130 options here. I'll, I'll stay off it. I'm with you though. Furman is laying seven and a half at home against ETSU, East Tennessee State. The Buccaneers they burned us the other night. Furman yes, though, did. all for a rivalry game. Give me ETSU in the points, but I'm not betting this. What are you doing here? Yeah, so SoCon SoCon's weird too. I mean, they play uh actually they played this one Wednesday, Saturday, but a lot of these leagues where you play Thursday, Saturday, such a weird handicap on, on the Saturday portion of it. I'll take uh I'll take the points with ETSU, but I don't think I'm gonna bet it. Michael Hoffer said, What's the total? It was one fifty four and a half that I'm seeing. Um yeah, not betting it, but I will bet this. So you guys, you guys remember how awesome that mountain West game was last year when San Diego state went to the pit yeah. and if memory serves me correct, I thought it was Lamont Mexico. Butler that hit the game winning three. Yep. Well, this San Diego state team is not as good as last year's obviously losing Bradley and also Johnson to Arizona. And I also think New Mexico is better than they were a year ago. And they're coming off a loss to UNLV. Great Give spot. me the Lobos minus three and a half at the pit where everyone gets laid. Lock. I feel pretty fucking good about it, too. Might be mentioning this one late in the episode. What are you doing here? I, I'm, I'm locked up with you, man. This may be my favorite play of the day. Lobos, lay it. 
the Belmont Bruins. Shout out to Tommy B. Gave us ten bucks. Thanks for all the all the work we do. I like how he says, he, "You know, I appreciate you, Tommy." But I, I, I and you're right because he goes, he doesn't put say hard work. He just says the work, which is I, you know, it's true. Hard work is like those people that were driving the dump trucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a real shit. I'll never forget a time uh, as a kid we were like having a snowball fight, and the uh, snowplow truck came. And my cousin just like took a thing of Mountain Dew on top of the fucking snow or his snowball. And he goes to throw it. We all like every time you saw a snowplow truck, you would grab the snowballs and throw it at the, 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 the truck. That was just shtick. But he just threw the most perfect side handed like throw to first base. And the guy happened to be smoking a cigarette. Poor this poor soul happened to be driving with the window down. We didn't know he had the window down. Yeah. And he took an ice ball right to the fucking face and he put his car in park so fucking fast and me and my cousin and you know, my brothers all bailed out. This guy, this guy tried to catch us. It's fucking great. I mean, but I just, I, in hindsight, you think about this, he's probably hung over. It's probably like, fuck, I got to plow fucking snow. Yes. <laughs> Some jackass loads up an ice ball. <laughs> I'm sitting there. That's a tough, that's a tough fucking morning, man. That is a tough yeah. fucking morning. You should have um, fucked your cousin up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he would have. Yeah, like I said, we had a little bit of a lead there. So uh Danny dumb shit th- threw out 20 bucks for Noah's Noah's snowstorm. I love that name. Go get some canned goods. Yeah, Danny dumb shit's great. New avatar um, for Danny, too, I think. No, I think he had that shit before. I don't know. Is it? Uh, yeah. Belmont's catching 11 and a half in Terry Hope. They're Terry off a Hawk. loss. Yeah. I'm on Indiana State. That big number's baiting you, even though Belmont's a solid team. I know. I'm so tempted to bet Indiana State. Just because that, that number's off. You know it's off. Yeah. And it's off for a great. Actually, should we? <laughs> I think we should, man. We saw Let's with go. JMU and Let's they're go. coming off a loss. Indiana Let's State's go. right there with JMU. Let's go. They're gonna fuck them up. Sycamores minus eleven and a half against them Belmont Bruins in Terry Hot. Kent State is laying six and a half on the road in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. <laughs> there literally will be nobody at this game. Dude, no. we should bet. <laughs> Snow Storm State is so much better than Central Michigan. But How the, the fuck is they, Central Michigan seven and eight? They actually have nothing to do up there in Mount Pleasant. I think there'll be some people at this game. Kent State's a, a well known name in the MAC. They're a good program. Oh man, I feel like Kent State's just on a different level than them. I feel like they could win by twenty. But uh, give me Kent State. I'm not locking it. But w- Mac, what are you doing here? I. When you get to a situation like this where there's a distraction with the snowstorm and not many people are going to be there, I usually lean to the dog. I do think Kent State's way better, but that thing becomes a distraction. I remember when we were at Austin P, we were playing like EIU, and they were the worst team in the league. Us and Murray had a back-to-back with them, and we both almost fucking lost to them. So I'm just going to – I'm going to just take Kent, but I'm not going to bet them here. I mean, what? So Kent State's lost two straight games, yeah. right? To Toledo, and they got upset at Eastern Michigan, which is a bad loss. Yeah, but the the Murray team had John Morant, by the way, and they almost lost to EIU. It was like, what the fuck? Yeah, okay. Central Michigan did catch Kent State in twenty one. It's it's it. There's so much unknown. Like yeah. usually, when there's so much unknown, it usually favors the dog. That's my whole thing. I I, I agree. Kent State should win by thirty, but. Yeah, yeah. Mount Pleasant, Michigan is a small college town. Uh, Slopeside goes, how can they be at the game? Aren't they all sandbagging their homes? Well, the students <laughs> live on campus, and the ones that don't, like, there's three things to do in Mount Pleasant. You can go clubbing, you can go to the casino, or you can go to Central Michigan sporting events. So those are the three things to do. I think the casino – Casino. I love I love I, I love when there's when there's weather elements in basketball. Like just seeing that snowing like hell outside the outside the game, it's great. It means we're right in the thick of conference play, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh no, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Um yeah. 
Oakland's laying 13 and a half at Ui Pui. Is Oakland off back to back losses? If if I remember no, correctly, no, didn't they win in overtime? Or am I crazy? Oakland just won no, in OT. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, they almost lost to Green Bay and Northern Kentucky. They pulled both out. They've actually won four in a row. I was thinking of somebody different. Um, mm, I'll lay it with Oakland. I'm laying it with Oakland too. Ooh, they're yeah. just on a different level too. Uh, Bradley is laying three and a half at UIC. A little in-state battle. You know I love it when you get a little in-state basketball battle. Bradley's, Bradley's on a different good. level right now. Yeah, I'm laying the three and a half. Should we lock Bradley? I mean, UIC has been a been a been a mess lately. I mean, let me just do a little more homework on this. So what? UIC has won like. They're inflated mm-hmm. from the non-con. They're not that good anymore, in my opinion. I, They're I, one I, and I really five like in their last six. Yeah, let's do it. Brad Bradley and, and Missouri Valley play. They've been here, done that. Bradley Braves baby. on the warpath. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, a, it's an ancient song we sung in my household. Hail the red team. Yes, yes. Uh, Rob asks if it stinks. Ah, uh, I mean, I think people think. Illinois Chicago is so good from the non-con. It's not like they're five and nine; they're eight and eight. Plus, it's Bradley eight. on the road. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Bradley it's, at it's home, I think, point. is a little bit more popular. Fair point, but uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit there. Um, folks, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NFL season with Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting. Analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NFL, NBA, and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. Quick update. I was up 18. We cash and we Bang, cash in. Well, that's a winning night. That we did it. eat shit on right state, but uh, Iowa definitely solidifies a winning night and uh boys, Nevada all tied up six minutes left in the first a little better uh, than last fucking Friday with the, those three bullshit games on FS one that went against us. That's true. That was yeah. horrible. That was really, it's oh, like it Vietnam awful. flashbacks. Yeah. Um, Western Carolina's laying two and a half at Mercer. This line stinks. Yes, yes, yes. So the Cats have won eight straight. Shout out to Weehawk. I mean, Mercer's going to win this, right? I think so. I, I, you know, and I know we faded Western Carolina the other day, but they're due for one. They've been playing. I, I, they almost lost to Wofford. They pulled away from Citadel late. I think we lock Mercer here. Back to back road spot. Sanford on deck. Last time Mercer was home, they beat Talladega by 24. Yeah. I'm locking Mercer. They got Sanford on deck. You. It's a look ahead. I'll join look you. ahead. I'll join you. I think they get it done. Sorry, Weehawk. I want to take the cats. The line's telling you. Fucking the Western Carolina. Don't look now. They're 14 and 2. Why the Great fuck we hook is the line two and a half? Doesn't make any sense. Um, Oklahoma is heading into Lawrence, Kansas. Kansas Lane six and a half. Lock that already. Kansas up the laws at the fog. Six and a half. It's too short. It's chalky as fuck, but sometimes chalk hits. Yeah, I, I would get this now. I think this thing will go to seven and a half or eight. Um, I don't think it'll be easy. I don't think they're going to win by 20. I think they'll pull away late and win by 10 to 12. Rock chalk at the fog off a loss. KU, let's go. Lock it up. I'm with you. Let's keep this lock party going. Providence has lost three straight. Tough times. Obviously, Bryce Hopkins out for the year. Xavier is coming into Providence. No, no, no. Providence! That crowd gets lit. I'm laying the three and a half with the Friars against Xavier on the road here. Lock it up. 
What are you doing here? Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like with Providence and Xavier last year, we locked up the team like laying two and a half or three each time, and they both lost because each game ended in two points. I kind of think this game comes right down the wire. I'll lean to Providence, but uh, they've lost three in a row. You, you make a good point. I'll join you. You, you, you talked me into it. Let's go. They went by four. They make free their free money. Throws. 1-800 pick Dundee. They're going to make their free throws. Back of the dunk. What's that Mary Mac Lemoyne line? I saw people talking about it in the chat. I'm not seeing it right now. Chat, give me that line. Uh, Radford's catching four and a half at Winthrop. It's a bad spot for Radford. I mean, is Winthrop really that good? The line's just... telling you. Unfortunately. All right. All right. I'm not betting against Radford just because I think they're really freaking good. No, I'm, I'm taking the Radford in the points. Just yeah, not betting. And I like and I'm biased towards Radford, but uh, I I think this line reeks. Noah, that was a big uh, the one next, along with the next game, Merrimack laying three and a half. Over at Ted Grant Court, you don't just walk into the Ted. The Ted <laughs> talks. I actually think Merrimack's the better team this year. Not betting it though. What are you doing here? This line kind of stinks. Give me uh give me Lemoyne. Let's go. I'm not betting this. <laughs> Hofstra is laying nine and a half at Campbell. Campbell covers. Hofstra wins by eight. Yeah, Campbell looked good the other night. I mean, they led Delaware for a majority of that game. I kind of like although Hofstra, they're off a loss. Um I'll take the points, Cam. I'm with you. Um, next up, we are go. I don't see this fucking line. Right now. Do you have the line on Houston Christian and Texas A&M commerce? Houston uh, Christian, ex- te- Texas A&M commerce, 10 and a half. Yep. Commerce only in 10 and a half. On PK. Why the fuck am I not seeing this? But I would um, beat Nebraska by 20 <laughs> fucking college basketball. Give me the points in Christian. Yeah, I'll take the points. I'm with you. No, I'm also going to need the NJIT Vermont line. Uh, Davidson is catching one and a half in Washington, D.C. against the George Washington Colonials, the George Washington Colonials, the George Washington Colonials. Um, I think we should lock this. In Davidson's favor? Yeah, I think Davidson's better. I think we we saw G-Dub. They fucking padded their schedule once again with that soft non-con. I like Davidson, man. I, I'm gonna lock Davidson. Better team, better program, better culture. Wait, I got, I got. Money line, Mac, locking up Davidson. These are way better. I'll take Davidson. I'm not betting it. Not betting it. It stinks. Um, Vermont minus 16 on DraftKings. Oh my God. It's that fucking 16. God. Yeah. Can't get hey. off this fucking thing. Have they failed to cover two in a row now? Yeah. Yeah, lock Vermont. This is the one. They're going to win by 30. Let's go. I'm on it. Let's go. System hey, play. System, I yeah. said we yeah. got to trust it till the end of January. Yeah. The end of fucking January. Catamounts win by 57 points. They were up 20 the other day, or 18, and they let their guard down. Not this one. They're going to fuck them up. Let's go. UMass is laying three and a half. In uh, Kingston, Rhode Island, at the Ryan Center. Speaking to you, buddy. UMass mm. won by 16 the last time they played, February 18th a year ago. It's gonna be a I'm sorry, fight. did I say 16? 24. They won by 24. I can't fade this UMass team right now. Give me UMass. Not not a lock because you know Rhode Island sneaky. They're good too. One, I mean, this straight. Two, yeah. Two good coaches. Uh, you got you got Archie, you got Frank, obviously. Year two coaches doing a good job. I'll go Frank, uh, but I think it's gonna be a rock fight, like you said. Comes down the wire. There's a game tomorrow going on. Uh in Fairfield, Connecticut. And it's not with Fairfield. It's with fucking sacred hot. 
Sacred Hot is hosting. <laughs> the Sacred Hot is an eight and a half point favorite against the fucking Long Island Sharks. Are you fucking kidding me? Get this Connecticut bullshit out of here, Middle America. The fucking Sharks are coming up there with this bullshit. Fairfield, Connecticut bullshit. I went to Connecticut once. I fucking fell asleep. All right. I'll tell you something about this fucking Sharks. The Sharks have turned a fucking corner. All right. They've turned the corner. They're buying. You know what happens? You start getting belief. People start buying in. Next thing you know, you're fucking broads. You never would have. You never would have landed 10 times, 10 years ago. Some shit like that. The fucking Sharks are getting it done. And I tell you one thing. It's a fucking lock. It's a fucking lock. I tell you, Rod Strickland, NBA great. NBA great. Remember him at the Madison Square Garden with Patino and the Knicks in 88? The fucking shocks. They should have never traded Rob Strickland. The, the Knicks shouldn't have. But he's correcting. He's righting all of his wrongs. He's back in New York City. And the fucking shocks are swimming hard. <laughs> Fins up. Shout out to whoever DM me the fucking drone footage of the fucking sharks. Because I got that in my DMs. It slid into my fucking DMs and I've been watching that shit around the clock. What are you doing here, buddy? Great delivery. I love it. Uh, I'll take the points. I, I'm not. <laughs> You're not <laughs> locking thought. it after I've given you the key. I've given you the fucking key to the city. <laughs> All right. The I, key I, to the fucking know, city. And you're going to do this bullshit? Sharks. After they fucked oh me that, against, uh, who'd they fuck me against? It was at Barclays, whatever that game was. That, I'm torn still from that game. Unbelievable. I give, I give you the fucking key to the city. The, the disrespect. I'll cheer you on on the sideline. <laughs> Sprinkle a little bit of that plus 300. All right? Sprinkle. <laughs> Navy. He's catching one and a half at the red hot Lafayette leopards. This line fucking stinks to high heaven. <laughs> it stinks to high heaven. You know, you know, Lafayette's won three straight. Yeah. And they're laying, they're laying a point. They're four and 12 and they're laying points to three and oh in league play. You know what happened last time Navy played them? Dude, Navy held them to 34 now. points. <laughs> 34 fucking points. <sighs> I think they stay hot. I think they do too. Lock <laughs> up Lafayette, baby. Let's go. They're 4 0, oh, baby. It's my team. I'm going to keep riding them. I don't know if I can lock this one. I can't. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm taking it. Navy treated it. me well the other night. I watched them. They, they, they took care of business against fucking Holy Cross. Um, Lafayette's going to get to the championship game in the league and then lose the Colgate by 90. Mac is locking game. up <laughs> the Lafayette Leopards. Virginia, the Wahoos are catching five and a half in Winston-Salem. I struggle with this game. I'm on wake minus five and a half, but it is not a lock. What are you doing here? They fucking Virginia has so many staples, like you, like you always say. It's... And when they go on the road, they just get their ass exposed. Um, I'll take Virginia here, man. They got they got to pop up in one of these games to keep it close. But I'm not betting Virginia. They not away from not away from Charlottesville. Uh, no. Do you have the line for Longwood and UNC Asheville? I think it's like two. It's probably Mac. Right any any word on some suspensions here? I haven't heard anything, but I think those guys are going to be suspended. I also think it's a bad spot for Longwood. I'm locking Asheville. Asheville minus bad. two. Yeah, I think they're oh, going to yeah. fuck them up. Asheville, I, I'm with lock you. that up. This Asheville. Longwood shit out of here. This, this, I feel. I almost feel too good about this fucking game. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go ahead and triple lock this for you guys too. Give me Asheville. This one's just a go. great spot. You know, Longwood was just in a dog fight. They might have some guys that suspended Spine. here. The big man's definitely you, suspended. The you big, and see he's Asheville got to guard Pember. cleans up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Asheville lock might put a large amount of money on that game tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I love Asheville. What is that Kentucky A and M line now? I know I saw it earlier. 
And you ain't got eyes on why the fuck? Oh, I got it right here. Hang on. A and M is laying two. You know what this is? A lock. <laughs> I feel pretty fucking good about this. A and M minus two. They're in a desperate spot. They're a veteran team, and they're getting a top ten team in College Station. Kentucky ain't winning this shit. A and M wins it outright by twelve. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing here? All fucking day. Desperate team at home versus a young Kentucky team. Don't do what Florida fucking did and gag over yourself when you go up double digits. A&M by double digits. Let's go. Buzzsaw. South Carolina Upstate's catching one and a half at Charleston Southern. I, I, I mean, you just had Charleston Southern have a huge win. Huge fucking win. Can they do it again? I think they do. Give me Southern. This is not a lock ever. <laughs> yeah. What, no, what are you doing no, here? No, no lock. No lock. I'm with you. <laughs> Purdue is laying 18 and a half at home against Penn State. Lock. <sighs> Who? It's Purdue. Purdue. We're locking Purdue here. Penn State's 0 5 against the spread away from home. They were just murdered in their last game away from home. Uh, or two games away from home Two, uh, yeah, their last game away from home. God damn it. I can't speak. They were beat by 31 by Michigan state uh, and Purdue. This is a, a nice get right spot right after the Nebraska loss. They're coming back home in Mackey. They blow out Penn state here. It's just too many points for me to feel great about it, but no, it'll be next. Lock it up. The boiler maker saying boiler up. Cocktail napkins got it. Minus 23. It's a great spot. Derek in the chat says you were wrong about the cats of Kentucky last Saturday. No, no, no. They were wrong. I yeah, yeah, we were on the right Kentucky. Is. I bet Kentucky against we Florida. We were on the right yeah. side. Florida fell apart in the final four minutes, but yeah, they led the entire game. Get the well, it's Florida. It's Florida basketball. You know what I mean? So yeah. Mac, be, before you go ahead and you want to lock battle this in yes, spite of I'm it, taking Penn State. The last time that Purdue lost, they lost in overtime to Northwestern. The game after that, they shit on Iowa by 19 points. Iowa has staples. Penn State's got some shit to them. Ace Baldwin and those guys, they play yeah, hard. They, They're just, no. They can, they can press. Yes. They I, can do keep think, they, I do think. I do think. They got I mean, shit on by 31 State. to Michigan State. I'm taking Penn State in the points, but I'm not locking Purdue's, it. You're, you're, you're locking this match? Yeah. I'm got, yes. I'm taking Penn State. Lock battle. Lock battle in one corner. Beat it. Say boiler up. In the other corner, running line back, saying. Ace Baldwin, Mike Rhodes, get the cover. Um, hard, man. We'll lose by 12. Florida State. Florida State is taking on Notre Dame. Florida State's laying one and a half. You just can't. I know the Seminoles are now just red fucking hot somehow. But Notre Dame is winning this game, and I can be talking to a lock here. Notre Dame might win the fucking ACC with yes. the way that they're playing. What's going on? I mean, two and three, they're playing well. Back at home. Did you shout out to favorite? Brian? Shout out to Brian Sanders. Says uh, you, you're always wrong, wrong when you bet Florida. Agreed. <laughs> uh, Florida State's a one and a half point favorite. We'll see about the Gators later on in the show. Mm, mm. During part two of the episode, that game will come about. No, Beanick. Uh, yeah, let's go. I like the Irish man. Let's I like the way that let's bet them. Let's Shusbury. bet them. Let's bet yeah, them. Everybody's buying Florida State now. They played all home games. Now they got I'm your leprechaun. Cold. Leonard don't lock. like that cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your leprechaun. I'm your leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go, folks. Let's, uh, <laughs> anyway, um. You know, Florida State does not have any interest in playing this game in the snowstorm in Indiana. No interest in <laughs> fucking true. being up there. That they is have very no true. interest in being up there. Everyone's going to be at, Yeah. They're going to be at yeah. the linebacker in later, snowed in. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Pounded with Mike fucking Bray. <laughs> Irish car bombs. Yeah. Shout out to the linebacker in. Uh, Fordham is at St. Bonaventure. 
this one's the Bonnie's a lay in 10. I'm on Fordham just because I don't like laying double digits with the Bonnie's. What are you doing? I'm, here? Gonna lo- I'm locking Fordham, man. This is way too many points to lo- lay with the Bonnie's. Bonnie's play well, but man, they play a tough nose, drag it out style. Give me Fordham all day, lock it up. Fordham won the last. Yeah, I think I'm with you. Let's go. Yeah. It's on the USA Network, folks. Make sure you, no. uh, if you go out for a bite to eat, yeah. make sure you, uh, if you keep the TV on, be prepared. Catch some Walker, Texas Ranger before and after. Anyone got that Utah State UNLV line? Am I just. You want to talk about it it on part two? Part two. Part two, baby. That's right. That's right. Go over the B side. All right, folks. If you're watching on YouTube or on on your time on YouTube, geez, I can't fucking talk. Stay put. Uh, But if you're listening to this on the audio side, um, check out part two with all of our other winners that we're dealing out here on the college basketball experience. All right. We are back on the college basketball experience and what a fucking slate. What a fucking slate we got. We are now at, at the noon slate. Utah state is at UNLV. Utah state is laying two. I'm conflicted on this game. UNLV just scored a huge win at home against New Mexico. Utah state has, a sh- I mean, Vegas has a shit ton of Mormons. A lot of people don't realize that. So it, it can be a sneaky, especially BYU. I don't know about Utah state, but I know when BYU yeah. plays there, they get a lot of fucking fans. I'm on UNLV still. I think we got to lock Vegas, man. Utah state's won how many in a row? They've Damn. won every game since game number two. It's, well, it's hard to fade. It's hard to fade a guy named Danny Sprinkle. I know, um, I, I know, I know, but th- I think this is a great Vegas spot. Can't wait I to think, watch this game. Yeah, I can't I'm wait bet. to watch this fucking game. Um, did you I'm say they're? Wait, did you say that Vegas is Vegas is favored, right? Uh, the line is no, it's two. Utah, so Utah State, State minus two. I I'm on like, Vegas. I still like Vegas, man. I'm, on I, Vegas. I, I'm not locking this. I'm not locking I am. this. I am. I am. Okay. Let's go, Vegas. One on Mag locking up UNLV. You can't stay not the same away from home. I might bet this. I gotta think about it. It's picks page. Picks page. You'll do it. You'll do it right now. Come on. Let's go. It's UNLV. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? All right, I grew up, I grew up rooting rifles. for this team. Right, Larry Johnson, <laughs> Stacey Ogman, yeah. uh, yeah. George Ackles, all those fucking guys. All right. What am I doing? I'm, I'm in a good mood. You know what I mean? I'm in a good mood. Noah's giving me weather report messages. Well, well, life I mean, I life is grand. <laughs> they rain, they ain't cold, but they're counting down 765. I do support peer pressure. Been, peer pressure has been a strong gateway into the drugs that I've consumed in my life. All right. Most positive stories. Yeah. Uh, you're, what's up? you're supporting peer pressure. You also you like me delivering uh, weather news. I'm also going to deliver uh, a 15 percent off SGPN store c- uh, coupon code. Like if you go to the picks page, you just want to go over the store after you cash in a couple of locks from the pitch picks page. Code playoffs 15 percent off. All the TC gear that you buy it goes towards us in a SGPN competition against all the other podcasts. So. Go out there, code playoffs, fifteen percent off on the sport. perfect for for a wintry mix. You know what I mean? For a nor'easterner, go get some great fucking gear. <laughs> you can move all the fucking trees that fall down, and uh, yeah, do that. And, and and by the way, check out side A as well. I don't know if I said that or not, but check there's out side just got to be something special about wearing a Patty C's fan club shirt and moving a tree when it falls down in the snow. Like that, true. that's, that's got something special to it. Bill's character, you know, that's why we're yeah. here. How, no, no, are you a fan of, uh, do you participate in snowball fights? I, I don't know if I do anymore, <laughs> uh, just because like everybody <laughs> in my neighborhood is like much older than we used to be, but we used to build that's like snow forts time. in, the, fucking time. in the, the yard weird. and we'd be chucking it door to door. Uh, with all with all of them, so yeah, that, that was that was fun times. I'd bring out like trash cans and garbage cans and place them in front of me, and then I'd just pop over, yeah. drop a bomb, yeah. duck back down undercover. Surprise pop attack up again. is always great. Always <laughs> great. 
Uh, 2009 um, was a good year for Noah Beanick. That's, yeah, I, <laughs> that's <laughs> my snowball fight in his life. My uh, next door neighbor, two doors down, he'd put up like a flag. Like uh, <laughs> it was a, uh, it was a uh, Ohio state, like, uh, like one of those car window flags. So I just aim for that shit. Mm, Pop mm. up, aim for that, knock it over. He'd have to reset it up. He, he never learned his lesson. He'd just keep putting it up there for me. And I just mm. keep knocking it over. <laughs> What's that guy doing these days? <laughs> Uh, he, Utah moved, State. <laughs> he moved to New York. Um, New York City. I haven't talked to him in a little bit. All right. Well, he's lucky because if not, he'll get one to the fucking dome tomorrow from Beanie. <laughs> All right. Um, Boston College, Clemson. This is, should be a smash spot for Clemson. Clemson's laying nine and a half, though. I still feel like Clemson's the right side. I'm laying the nine and a half. I yeah man I I like Clemson here too but man they have fucking fallen back a little bit but yeah I'll lay it Seattle is that UT Arlington Arlington's laying one and a half should we double up on this I think we should I think fucking Seattle's fools gold away from the global warming arena Arlington's good man let's, let's, go. let's double up on this the Mavericks minus yeah. one and a half good play yeah gonna fuck these guys up. South Dakota State is laying one and a half at Noah Phoenix, Denver Pioneers. Can the Jackrabbits make it two straight? I think they can. I'm laying the one and a half, even though it stinks a little bit. What are you doing here? It does stink. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be on the Jackrabbits, but that was a big time win. Fringe lock. I feel like. Uh, I just feel uh, like they're on a different class. Yeah. Um, I'll stay no, away just because they already got the big win. North Dakota's catching four at UMKC. Remember UMKC just the other night. Was that last night? What night was that? Two nights ago? It was no, it was last night. That's that's where it's so tricky with these mid majors coming back on Saturday. They just played less than twenty four hours ago. I just think UMKC is a much better team, though. I will lay the four points with the, the Kangaroos. Mac, I'll take the points. I'm taking the points here. Did you no. guys say that UMKC and North Dakota played? Because it was they played North Dakota State. No, no, yeah, no. I'm Dakota, saying so. they, that both teams just just played uh, yeah, yeah. the night before. Yeah. Um, Louisiana is heading to Jonesboro, Arkansas. Take on Arkansas State. Well, who is this Arkansas State team, by the way? Can we talk about? Let's let's They're let's throw the rolling. let's throw the flag <laughs> on the on the let's let's hit the little timeout here. This Arkansas we State team them. won three straight. I feel like Louisiana is a better basketball team. Give me, give me Lafayette plus two and a half. I might bet this too. I like here? it. I thought that I thought they should have won a Troy the other night. Yeah, I thought they gave that. Louisiana is not I, a bad team, dude. They're not a bad team. Yeah, and Bob Marlin, he can fucking coach, man. He, I think he squeezes one out here. One and three in league. You got to get this one. Let's go. Louisiana, lock it up. Raging Cajun time. Raging Cajun time. Let's go. This Jonesboro bullshit out of here. Colgate. Oh, man. They're heading. They're heading to Bucknell. You know, could this be a system play? Parlay situation because Colgate's laying nine, and I'm laying the fucking nine. Parlay this with Vermont. This gets us all the money back we just lost the past two games. Colgate wins by fourteen. You doing here? Yeah. No, these guys are going to start to roll. Colgate and Vermont all day. Let's go. Old Dominion's laid one and a half in Conway, South Carolina against Coastal Carolina. I'll I'm gonna it. do it. I'm gonna do it. They led. They led for 39 minutes the other night. They're not that bad. They just can't finish games. ODU, lock it up. <laughs> I'm dying on this hill, man. I'm dying I'll on this you. hill. I'll join you, dude. I'll join you. I just think Coastal like, sucks. Yes. Yeah. I think Coastal sucks yeah. too. Texas State is heading to ULM. 
Texas State's laying three. This line fucking stinks too. Yeah. I think Texas State's a lot better than ULM. I will lay the three. No bet. What are you doing here? No bet for me either. Uh I'll lay it with Texas State. I'm with you, but it does stink. Uh South Carolina is getting one and a half. No, two and a half now. I'm seeing two and a half, sorry. At Mizzou. All day. Give me them cocks. Give me them game cocks to go in there and get it done. I don't know. This is anyone's game. This is anyone's game. Give me the game cocks. What are you doing here? Lock up Mizzou. South Carolina's not as good as the record, man. They're on the road. Again. We know your hate. We know your hate for South Carolina right now. They're not that good. Right? This is one of the ones. This is one of the ones that comes on after Miami when you're when you're that James Conn and, and fucking the misery. You're strapped down to the bed and Kathy Bates is just playing the worst shit for you. I can't wait till all you South Carolina fans gotta watch UMass in the NCAA tournament. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um Incarnate Word is taking on Northwestern State. Who's the, who's who's excited for this Who? one? <laughs> Oh uh, man! Uh, do I even have a line here? I'm searching for this fucking thing. Who's got this line? Why am I not seeing it? What game is this, sir? Uh, Incarnate Word and Northwestern State. Uh, I don't see it posted well, I got on it. DK, I got but it. I'm seeing two and a half for the cards. I dubs laying three. Lay it. This Northwestern State team has fucked me all year. There's a two and a half out there too. No, they almost fucking beat uh, McNeese the other night, remember? That's right. They covered yeah, they for us, can't. actually. <laughs> they, uh, shit, All they right. almost won the All game. Right, I'm yeah. back. Yeah. Give me them demons. Guy. Give me them yeah, demons. demons. I'm not betting demons. this game. I'm not betting it either, though. But I just say, hey, remember, they almost came through. It's true. They did. They came. Yeah. They covered for us. Bowling East. Green is uh, catching a point at Northern Illinois. Fuck this Northern Illinois team, man. Bowling Green wins. What are you doing here? Yeah, Northern Illinois is another fuck this team. Uh, they completely dominated Western Michigan the other day and then somehow lost that fucking game. Uh, I'll take Bowling Green. Albany is laying four and a half against a golf course known as Binghamton. Binghamton. They yeah, cover. I'll take I'll take I'll they take the points. I'm with you. I'm with you. Folks, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Uh the official sports betting partner of the National Football League. Look, they're bringing you an offer that's going to help make the playoffs truly electrifying for you. New customers can bet 5 bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. So what are you doing, folks? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. And uh, use the promo code SGP. New customers can bet just five bucks and get two hundred instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the promo code SGP. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler or visit www one eight hundred Gambler dot net in New York. Uh, call eight seven seven eight Hope and Y or text Hope and Y in Connecticut. Help us available for problem gambling. Call eight 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 seven eight nine seventy seven seventy seven or visit ccpg dot org. Please play responsibly on behalf of boot Hill casino and resort in Kansas. 21 uh, plus age varies by jurisdiction void in void in Ontario bonus bets expire uh, 168 hours after issuance cdkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions uh, terms and responsible gaming resources. We're also brought to you by game time. Buying tickets to your favorite event shouldn't be that stressful. Game time's the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater that is near you with killer deals on last minute tickets and their best price guarantee. You can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun you'll be having at that very event. So what are we doing folks? Snag the tickets without the stress with game time. Perfect for the rest of the college basketball season and the NFL playoffs. Download the game time app, create an account. Use that uh, promo code CFBX for $20 off your first purchase. Once again, terms apply. Redeeming code CFBX for twenty dollars off. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Let's fucking go. We're back, and no, 
I'm just a fucking pro. They're asking if I got a decatheter. No, I'm just a fucking pro. You know what I mean? Sit over here. You hold your piss. You know what I mean? You hold it. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh it is a pain. Like when you got to go when you're hosting, it's hard. <laughs> and yeah. there's been a couple times with the Big 12 show where I'm like, God damn, I got to piss right now. Yeah. No, I'm with you, man. Tennessee Tech is laying seven. They've pissed on my face a couple times this year. <laughs> uh, against SEMO. I actually think we should we should nail this one. SEMO, right? No. <laughs> I'm not trusting Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech just drilled Southern Indiana. Semo's one of the bottom ten teams, dude. They just lost to Lindenwood at home. Bounce back. Although I've been saying bounce back. How did they get Bethel on the schedule last Saturday? Oh, they have an odd amount of teams. Uh I'm taking Semo. I'm not betting this game though. Fuck this. Colby, I'll lock it with you if you want. It's Tennessee Tech's first home game in the month of January. Cocktail napkin likes this thing at ten and a half. Let's go. Uh, how about this? Semos winless on the road. Oh, there we go. They they chart in the three hundreds both on offense and defense. Unlike Tennessee Tech, they get it done. Get the Semo bullshit out of here. They're terrible. Yeah, Lamar. and that strength of schedule too for SEMO has been weak. 279th. Texas and Tennessee Tech's got a better strength of schedule too. So Lamar's catching three and a half at Nichols. Give me Nichols. Actually, Lamar's been a wagon, dude. I know. <laughs> I I just fall asleep when I fucking say Lamar. Don't look now, but this team's won three straight and they fucked up they, like they're better than what we think. Actually, you know what? Buy me some stock on 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 Lamar. Give me Lamar plus three and a half. It's easy to see a tide turn. Uh, I'll go Nichols. It's easy to see a tide turn. Should should SGPN jump on this idea? Actually, Vivid Dog bets. He goes, if you guys start an Epstein podcast, let us know. Love the long shots idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we should. Mm-hmm. Problem is, is, I just I'm doing forty seven other podcasts at the same time, but we should. We should. Yeah. It's a really good idea. And uh I don't know. I'll pass it along. Um Southern. The Jaguars are heading to Florida A and M. This is a fucking lock. This is a lock. Southern's laying four and a half at Florida A and M. This line stinks. Florida A and M's terrible. Why is it only four and a half? They're a bottom 10 team. I'm out on this game. This (laughs) makes no sense. Maybe you're right. (sighs) No, I'm still betting it. Why? Because this is fucking America. God damn it. And I have the freedom to bet four and a half in Daytona beach or where the fuck? No, Tallahassee. Thunes and let me sell it. Noah. What's the, what the are cocktail doing napkins got to like this one, they right? Got, they they got to be like a 20 point favor in the cocktail. Napkin. Yeah. What's going on here with, with Southern into a fam. You fam is awful. I'm just staying away. Cause this fucking makes no sense. Cocktail napkins got Southern minus seven and a half. It's actually a little closer than I thought it would be. Um, That's a whole possession. Noah. Army is catching six and a half at American. I'll take the, I'll take American. <laughs> I wanted to take the points, but I remember I've watched a couple army games. Eh, what are you doing here, Mark? You paused yeah. there and my heart sank. I thought I lost power. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, He's this fucking, fucking guy. Scared away to that fucking storm. It's in his head. I know, man. You're like one of these people and like, you know, that watch. Are you one of those guys? Know it? Like you're not going to watch any of the games. You're just going to be watching the news nonstop. Seeing all the stories of, you got empty shelves here. I I plan on camping myself in the basement. That way, if they tell us that the storm is getting heavy, you all need to move away from windows. My basement's got no windows. I'll be down there with a couple of TVs. Wait, but why up. would you move away from windows? This isn't a fucking tornado, right? Well, it, it it's a thunder snow or whatever they're calling it. 
Um, Buddy, I've been in a lot of fucking places with a lot of snow. I never heard cover your fucking or get away from windows in the snow. Is that a thing? Is that a yeah, fucking thing? For, I never heard of that. For heavy that storms, great yeah. The yeah. fuck is going what? on here? What's wrong what? with this world? Yeah. Tornadoes. That's, you get away from uh, you get away from windows on tornadoes. During heavy storms. Thunderstorms, tornadoes. <laughs> Not really blizzards, really, but it's a thunder snow. It's not normal or whatever. Thunder snow. But the- <laughs> well, Rob, so he's he's asking what the fuck is a thunder snow? It's because of the lake effect. Well, lake, lake the lake effect snow that's coming across Lake Michigan. Uh, we're getting that shit. So I may yeah. have to flip to the Rams on Sunday night. This this thunder, whatever is in there. Nope, right now. nope. We we play <laughs> in domes, so the climate's gonna be perfect. Sunday oh, night. disgusting. <laughs> Colby's Rams. ready to just he's ready yeah. to just turn the Rams show are off. gonna fuck them up. The Rams do play the dome too, though. So it's like two soft that teams going head to head. Yeah, true. the Rams play in a dome that just they don't have any fans. We have passionate fans. We'll we'll <sighs> get there. We'll get there on our snowblowers for crying out loud. We're gonna get there and we're gonna pack that place. It's gonna be loud. Go Lions. Probably not gonna watch that one. <laughs> Probably not going to watch that one, but I bet it. Um, Fresno State is at Wyoming. Should we? Wait, what's the spread on this? Why am I not seeing four. it right now? Wyoming's laying four. Oh yeah, this is a lock for for Wyoming. Yeah, they're coming off back to back road losses. I, I, I feel them. really good about this. I feel really yeah. good about this. Yeah, let's go. Fresno sucks on the road. They also suck, um, period. <laughs> yeah. And you guys want free money? There's this team that put a target on their back. They think there's something special. And they said, you know what? You guys aren't any good. We don't want to play with you guys. We're going to go. We're going to go to the ACC. And guess what? ACC, don't even pay for us. We got it from here. We're sick of being in this league with no with no no talent, motherfuckers. And what they don't realize is there's a lot of talent sitting in one city that they're about to walk into back to back away games for this team as well. Get the fuck out of here. Take your bullshit bought team with George Bush out there, trying fighting, calling up the ACC, saying, "Hey, let's get, can you get SMU in the game in, in the conference?" Right? No bullshit. All right. I dare you. I dare you to have the, the balls to bring old George W down to G Vegas. Cause they'll get fucking pepper sprayed with uh, with the rest of us drunk fucks. All right. ECU money line play against these filthy, filthy mustaches. Let's go. Easy money. Just giving out plus 190. Free. Sitting there. Like a like a fucking uh, you're at a wake up at a hotel. Come downstairs and you realize there's all that food there. Free as shit. You forgot you're actually someone bought you a nice hotel room. Thought you were still staying at the Econo Lodge. And boom, it's free shit just just sitting there for you. (laughs) Right there. Right outside your fucking house. Brand new free shit. What are you doing here, Mac? I'm with you. I love ECU here. Outright. Home dog. Let's go. Fucking go. Send those little private school pussies into the ACC with the fucking big time Al in Greenville. And I hope we play you again tw- two more times. All right. I think it's fitting that West Virginia and ECU have five and a half home dog spreads to SMU and uh, Texas here on a nice Saturday in January. Oh, I like that. I like yeah, that. We'll get to West Virginia here in a minute. Grambling is heading to Daytona Beach, Florida. One of the grimiest beaches I've ever been to in America. <laughs> now, granted, it was bike week. I've heard it's nicer when it's not bike week. Fuck. When I went, shit was shit was a little rough. Uh, I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about the beach experience. Pretty grimy. Courtney Love might have been born in Daytona Beach. Uh, we should bet Bethune Cookman here, I think. <laughs> I, was I think they're it. better. I think they're better. Just say it. 
This is a Monday night lock. I'm staying off this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love when these guys play on Monday night and you and you and you and you in the game tips fucking the game never starts on fucking time. It starts 45 <laughs> minutes late. There's no stream available. Then all of a sudden the stream becomes available midway through the second half. The band is fucking is playing knockout at fucking timeouts. I mean, god damn, yeah. these games are yeah. shit show. I'm just saying, I think Bethune hits. I might bet this tomorrow, especially if I'm up this is by one o'clock Pacific time, four o'clock Eastern. Yeah. Uh, Kansas state's catching seven and a half at Texas tech. I took the points, but I don't like this game. I mean, it's a great game to watch. Lubbock's hard as fuck to win in, but I feel like Texas tech is due for some regression. Yeah. K state's on a second end of a back to back. Give me the points. I don't like it. Stay the fuck away. What are you doing here? I I, I locked uh, I locked K State. I lo- I like K State's matchup here, and it's two old friends, two former Baylor assistants here, Jerome Tang, Grant McCaslin. This thing's gonna come right down the wire. One possession game either way. You're giving me seven and a half all day. I'll take the points. Lock it up, K State. Woo! Locking it up. Yep. That's uh, game, one of the better games of the day. Appalachian States catching six points in Harrisonburg, Virginia against JMU. I will watch this whole game. And you can take that to the bank because I think we should bet JMU minus six. I was about to say, we haven't bet JMU all year. We've always been like, oh, they're due for some regression. Is this is this payback for uh, football? For football. Let's go. I'm with you. JMU, lock it up. Minus six. Let's ride. And it has been alerted to Oh, no. It, guys, it's still too early in the chat for me to talk that shit. Uh, but go, Boise. Loyola Chicago's catching six and a half at St. Joe's. <sighs> You can't take St. Joe's anymore. They've they've yeah, started. No, you. I, I think Loyola's playing better too. So I will take Loyola in the points. What are you doing here? I'll take Loyola in the points as well. This is a fringe lock. Check the picks page. Vivid Dog Bet said any MLB pod I know you and New you and Noah do college. Uh the MLB gambling podcast, I may recommend. They are part of our association. They're good friends. Check it out. Network. Yeah. Phoenix. There we go. Uh, BYU is laying four and a half at UCF. The super soaker. This should one's we, tough. Should we bet BYU? I think BYU is going to fuck them up. I thought so, BYU looked actually really good on uh Wednesday night against Baylor. Or sorry, Tuesday night. The Tuesday night. This is a second leg. They stayed out on the road, I believe, over there in in uh, from Baylor over to Central Florida. I think this is a good spot for them here. UCF's off their Super Bowl. Yeah. So I I do have a question about this game. It, it's so it's four o'clock Eastern time. Yeah. Uh, there's some crazy trend in the NFL this year. I know I'm talking NFL and college basketball, but when teams are playing three time zones over. They're like crazy bad against the spread. Um, yeah. That's my only worry about BYU here. Otherwise, I'd kind of like the Cougs too. I'm taking BYU. I don't know if I'm going to lock it. Fringe lock potential depends how my day is going. Check the picks page. Hit that refresh button. What are you doing, Mac? I'll let it with BYU. You know what? I, I know a lot of people are saying this feels too easy. Are these a rare. We road should bet this. We, it's we road should bet ra- this. They're owing two. They're owing two. I, I, I'm sorry. Let's bet this. I just don't think UCF is that good. They got Kansas. They go back they're, to being shitty. They're still fucking drunk from that game. They're not yeah. gonna be. They're not even gonna show up in this game. The Arkansas I, and, Razorbacks. Russ made a good point. There's What's a that? lot of fucking Mormons in the Orlando area. He said there's gonna be a lot of really? uh, BYU fans. The fucking Mormons are everywhere. Really? I didn't. Yeah. I, I, Scientologists, right? Aren't they in Florida? Yeah, Mor- yeah, that. Mormons. Now, yeah. now Florida's starting to make a lot of sense to me. I've always wondered <laughs> why you get those well, crazy be, ass. Like be, every every cops episode was somehow in fucking Florida. Yeah, and be, now be now like it's making sense. Alum. 
BYU's alumni is fucking huge. Yeah. Still didn't know that. I didn't know that uh, they went that hard into Florida. They're everywhere. There's Mormons. Uh, Arkansas is catching seven and at, yeah, they, they are literally like you'll be in fucking Kenya or Salvador <laughs> and they'll have their shit, their, their, their operation running. No disrespect, but I mean, they Son of Pete says they're not Mormons. They're morons. <laughs> I wrote that before. Um, go to Disney world for the week. Go check the Cougars yeah. out. Arkansas is catching seven and a half in the swamp. Give me them points. I don't buy into this Florida bullshit. Arkansas is going to win this on the money line. Let's go. I don't have a play here. Give me uh give me the race. No, it. no, uh, no. What do you think here? The cocktail napkins giving me an edge on the Gators. So if I get an edge on the Gators, I am going to bet Florida, um, Florida on the cocktail napkins minus nine and a half. So, Give me the Gators. Lock it up. They win by three possessions. Phoenix. Wow. Wow. Phoenix, lock it up. The Gators. Gator, Gator, Gator. Now, Razorback's going to get that done. Central just, Connecticut feels State. like a desperate spot for both. So Yeah, give me yeah that's why I'm staying away. Uh, Central Connecticut State. Some say they're, they're the real Blue Devils. They, <laughs> coming off of a what, like a 16 point win? I think it was against uh, who the fuck was it? They beat someone's ass the other day. Stonehill. Uh, they head to Loretta, Pennsylvania to the De Gaulle. I see St. Francis as a plus 170 money line play here. Am I lacking it? No, I am not, but I think. If you want to get, if you're looking for those money line yappers, I think St. Francis is available. What are you doing here, man? Yeah, I'll take St. Francis. I'm with you, but I'm, I'm going to stay away from betting it. South Alabama. Just back to back away for South Alabama. They just got drilled the other night by Jamie. Now they head to Marshall. Yeah. Marshall's laying five and a half. I do think we should consider a lock here. This line stinks. Marshall's won four in a row. South Alabama's lost three in a row. They just got they just got embarrassed. I'm gonna be on South Alabama here. I'm on Marshall. I'm on Marshall. No lock though. You you didn't help me. Uh, but I, this one, Cal State Fullerton heads to Northridge, Los Angeles Valley. Northridge is laying four. Yes. I mean, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. Northridge minus four. Going back to this fucking well. This team is good. Fullerton's all right. This team is good. What are you doing here? I'll battle you. Give me Fullerton. I think there's some kinks in that Northridge armor. Coming back to the pack a little bit. Who the fuck is Fullerton? Cedric Sabalos graduated there 30 fucking years ago. He's DJing nightclubs now. All right? They got they had a week off. Get this they had a week off. They're ready to go here. I love they, this. They spot. got fucking they could take a, a whole couple seasons off the way they've been <laughs> running their athletic department. You're taking a team that built a football stadium and then canceled the football school or the, the program the next year. Think about that. Well, this, Think this about is that. basketball. This is basketball. But I'm just saying that's the logic they have uh, over there. We got a Fullerton, Fullerton outright. We got a battle. The Matadors with Dundee. The Titans with Mac. Maryland Eastern Shore is catching 11 and a half at Howard. Sleepy, sleepy game. Give me Eastern Bye. Shore and the points. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'll take the points here. Little cock heads to UT Martin. We should probably lock UT Martin because they just got upset the other night by Western Illinois. Two straight home games. This is a lock. Yeah, UT Martin. Martin. Yeah, UT Martin gets it done against Little Cock. 
minus five. Let's go. Scott G said, did anyone get fired for that Colby? Well, the, the football coach did. <laughs> I don't know if the technically unemployed. I don't know if you, I don't know if they said you're fired. They just said, guess what? You're no longer, you're no longer allowed to, you know, you're not, we're done. Anymore. Your paychecks yeah. have stopped. It's like, I the assume he was shit. asking like yeah. whoever, whoever's idea was to build the stadium. Did they get fired? I, I mean, I, I haven't done, I mean, I'm not that familiar with the program, but I know that, that every time I meet up with Scott Bowser, comic buddy of ours, who is uh, familiar with the Cal state Fullerton program. He brings that up and he's still disappointed. They don't have a football program. So, or they, they got rid of it, but um, yeah, pretty right. hilarious it, shit. It sounds about right with Bowser. <laughs> yeah. So that sounds about right with uh, California football programs. Um, Western Illinois is that Eastern Illinois. This game is fun. Sign me up for this fun. Anytime. As the Leathernecks, the red hot Leathernecks, where the fuck is Eastern Illinois located again? That's not Carbondale. Charleston. Is it again? Charleston. <laughs> I think I've been to Charleston. Oh, um, I've been to Charleston. Brickyard, <laughs> the brick, the brick house, baby. I've been to Charleston oh, too. Oh, I got fucking <laughs> fucked up there. It's, <laughs> I've been snowed in there at Austin P. We talked about it earlier. That place is fucking did, something did, else. Did you? Did you? When you were snowed in, let me ask you a question. Did you uh, make sure you were not around any windows? Uh, no, I <laughs> I was so drunk I didn't even know what a window was. <laughs> I probably ran into a window. Uh, I love, well, I love you gotta Charleston. watch out for the, the the snowstorm windows. That'll yeah. that. You know how many people die a year on the caved-in windows from the snow? Just you're yeah. you're sitting there in your house, and boom, the fucking snow comes in like an avalanche, and you fucking die. Happens all the time in this great country of ours. Um, Matt Garrett says Charleston, Illinois is near Mattoon, Illinois, which is the yes, home of is. the Bagel Fest. I, yeah. I would be interested in the Bagel Fest. Wait, I'm a little weary of a Bagel Fest in the Midwest, though. I feel like bagels are an East Coast thing. No? No? Well, There's I, a lot well, of wheat in the Midwest, and wheat can be used for bread. So is that, is that, is that a Jewish know. joke? <laughs> <laughs> from 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 uh from beating which, or from me yeah, yeah. no which, yeah. <laughs> which by the way uh Kramer just shaved his face into a mustache uh the Vsin sports gambling podcast live show just began if you want a good laugh head on over yeah <laughs> let's go um folks so check out that after the show uh, where the hell am I at here? Yeah, uh, Western Illinois. Oh, take it on Eastern Illinois. Yeah. yeah, no, this is a fun matchup. Western Illinois is laying one at at Eastern. Both teams are way better than they traditionally have been lately. Uh, this is at the Lance Arena. WIU won by four last time they played. I mean, I kind of think WIU is the play, but yeah, U is pretty fucking good too, man. Like. I don't think they're as horrible as many think. Actually, man, this is a good game. Give me actually yeah, you at home. They lost last year. They strike back. Give me them Panthers to get it done. Yeah, Marty Simmons. I'm watching they, this fucking game. I I'm I'm locking it. Give, give me the home team. Home team all day here, baby. I love this. <laughs> I think a lock is a little crazy, but, it, what, but Western I mean, both teams are red hot, right? But Western Illinois, I mean, they're on the second end of a back to back road spot. Eastern Illinois just lost a home game on Thursday. It's a nice bounce back compared to Western Illinois, who's coming all the way from Tennessee. Martin, that's a far trip in, 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 in one day, all day, EIU, baby. So I'm going to pull a screenshot from VSIN Live. That way, the people that are watching us on YouTube right now don't have to go over and tune in. It's a great sight to see. <laughs> okay. Do that. Um, Moneyline Mac. EIEIO, baby. At the brick house. I'm going to take e EIO. I don't know about a lock, but I'm watching every fucking second of this game. Let's go. Tony Romo and Jimmy Garoppolo. Blarming. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is laying two and a half at Central Arkansas. I told you the other night you were going to be on it. <laughs> this is the one. 
It has to be. This is the fucking one. I want you to unload that bank account. Unload it. Dial in. Easy play, below I mean. This is it, easy. Yeah. This is this is it. This is it. That's the this, that's, that's the best play of the day, right? Central Arkansas, my God. Uh <laughs> I may have to quit them all day. I think they're going to drill them. Actually, I do too. I do too. I, <laughs> drill them by seven. <laughs> Monmouth is catching ten and a half at Charleston. Give me the points. Bounce back spot. Uh yeah, I'll lay it with Charleston at home. That's kind of a system play for me at this point. I'm not betting it just because of mom is good. Lindenwood is catching nine and a half at Tennessee State. Lindenwood. Give me Tennessee State to handle that. Yeah. Hmm? Lindenwood's off a win, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to pay that. <laughs> they can't win two in a row. Last time they did it was against Avia and uh, Uwe Pui. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia State's laying seven and a half against Georgia Southern. We should lock this. In State's favor? I like Southern. State had State had the fucking luckiest win ever the other night. Southern Against, uh, is horrible. I mean, I guess they kept it close with Marshall. Yeah, they've actually played really well since about mid December. Ever since that Tennessee cover, they almost beat Wilmington, hung in with Gulf Coast, beat Southern Miss by twenty, beat Monroe. I'm on. I'm on George Southern. Lock it up. Woo! Let's go. I'll take Southern in the points. No lock. No Rivalry. lock from Dundee. I know. Gosh, that's a good point, but they're just so bad. Georgia State was down 20 to ODU the other night. <sighs> Noah, what are you doing here, buddy? Uh, I don't have a bet. Are you ready to see the stash, though? Yeah, show, show the stash. Do you want to tell the bet after or before? Or? What do you mean? I'm taking Georgia Southern. No, no, no. Like the, the bet that Sean and Kramer had, why the mustache is there. I don't even know it. I haven't been in the office. Oh. So, yeah. so it was, a, it was a fantasy points bet between their two teams, tight ends, the Philly Eagles tight end, Dallas Goddard ended up beating Darren Waller, who was the giants new toy that they got in the off season, their tight end. So the bet was that, uh, you know, Kramer had the, or the loser had to shave off their beard into a mustache for the amount of days of points they were beaten by. So Kramer's got to wear this mustache for about 30 days. I believe here's capture one. I have two different pictures. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it was like a fucking character in clue or something. Uh, show me, show me the next one up close. Oh my God. Yeah, he's, oh on my the TV. God. he's on, he's on my TV in the background. <laughs> <laughs> It's great uh, stuff. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm taking Southern. You swayed me for Southern. N- not locking it. You're gonna you're gonna end up betting this See, once we have a good early window. You're gonna end up betting Southern by the end of the day. You make all oh, come on rivalry. Probably dog. Probably. Let's go. <laughs> Probably McNeese is laying thirteen to Sela. Give me Sela plus thirteen. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll take I'll, I'll take Sela. UC Davis is laying 10 and a half to Cal state Bakersfield. Give me Bakersfield in the points. Who the fuck is this UC Davis team? All of a sudden just laying gigantic numbers left and right. Give me Bakersfield. Wait, what, what number did you say it's at now? 10 and a half. Should we lock Bakersfield? Bakersfield should have beat Barber the other night. They've been hanging in these games, dude. Who the fuck is UC Davis to yeah. all of a sudden get, I know they just beat Northridge by 20. They act like they got fucking, uh, you know. Check the pick space. Cream of the old Jabara playing center for him. What the fuck is going on here? I like this Bakersfield team. They play hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Bakersfield. That line smells to me. It just doesn't make fucking sense to me. But Holy Cross is at Lehigh in a classic. <laughs> Lehigh is laying eight and a half. No. I think <laughs> we should lock up. Holy cross. I think we should do. This is way too many. Who is Lehigh to be late? Should we be concerned that Holy cross 
is 358th in defense. No, they'll, and, they'll play defense for one game here. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, though. Give me, give me I love Cross taking 0 and 3 teams in league play. They got to get a win in the desperation spot. <laughs> Let's go. Lehigh, who the fuck is Lehigh? They, this is Staples on Staples. Take the points. S- s- system play. Uh, Southern Miss is at Troy. Woo. This is a game. Troy's Troy's laying four and a half. Should we ride the Southern Miss momentum? I think so. Give me the give me the four and a half and and, and that Brett Favre blood money. No, no lock though. What are you doing here? Yeah, check the picks page. I may lock this. I I I like Southern Miss, man. I, you know I'm a Carbello hater, but they seem to have figured some things out there. They got some good. They they're playing hard. Uh, Georgia Tech's catching 17 and a half at Duke. Remember they beat Duke. Yeah. Give me Duke minus 17 and a half. They're going to drill them. I took the points. I, I, that was so long ago. I don't even think Duke even remembers. Uh, they're, they're on to bigger things. Thomas in the chat says, should we be concerned that Holy cross is absolute ass? That's yes. The, point of the show, man. Ass yes. teams cover. <laughs> yes. We should always be concerned, but yeah. this a it's a rivalry. It's somewhat of a little bit of a rivalry. I feel like Patriot League on Patriot League. In that game, somebody's got to cover to Max Point. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you get to this point in the year. I mean, these dogs are so undervalued. It's like, goddamn. I mean, they can cover eighteen or whatever, or not, or eleven. What was Holy Cross? Nine and a half. I think they can cover that. I think they'll be in the game. Lipscomb's laying seven. At home against Austin P. Local game. I mean, Lipscomb. Have you seen this look? This Lipscomb team's playing pretty good ball. I feel like. Um, so was so Austin P. Yeah. Give me the points. Yeah, I I'll might take points. Be, that might be lockable. Yeah, I'll take might points. be lockable in P's favor. Uh, I don't know. Check the picks page there. Uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi's at New Orleans. Corpus Christi's laying two. Give me Corpus Christi. I knew you wouldn't take the privateers. Uh, yeah, I'll take, I'll take I watched uh, them the other night. They fucking suck. I'll take. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Let's go. <laughs> Boston is heading to Maryland to take on Loyola, the Greyhounds. Who the fuck is going to watch this game? <laughs> Boston's laying one. Give me Boston. Boston. No. Yeah. Boston. Let's go. Yeah, Boston. Okay. Yeah. Don't bet this game. Jacksonville State. Oh boy. This is a game. Red hot Jacksonville State. Who's you the coach of Jacksonville here. State? You know what's happening here. Uh your boy. What's my Ray guy's Harper. name again? Ray yeah. Harper. Uh coach he came from Western Kentucky. That's right. That's right. Ooh. Yeah. That adds a new element because I was about to lock Western Kentucky. Yeah. I like Jack Still State. Still locking man. Western Kentucky. Are we battling? I'll battle Are we you. fucking battling? Yeah, battle. Let's Give go. Me Jack State, man. Jack State's fucking good, man. Who the fuck is Jack State to win seven in a row? No. It's Ray no, Harper, baby. No. He's a hey, not last last coach to get Western Kentucky to the NCAA tournament. Rick or sorry, Ray Harper, not Rick Stansberry. <laughs> Rick Stansberry we fought all them battle. players to get it done. <laughs> Money on Mac, riding with Jack State. Dundee. Going with the tops. Alcorn State's at Alabama State. Do not bet this. Alabama State's laying three and a half. I will lay the three and a half. Yeah, I'll uh I'll lay it. <laughs> UTEP is lay is catching two and a half at the airport. This is a, this is almost a deja vu of uh, the other the other night. Why is air, the airport favored here? Good question. Um, do we fade? Do we fade the airport off a win though? Can they make it back to back? I don't think. Uh, UTEP struggling. Give me. Uh, I'm on the airport. Points. I'm on the airport. 
Uh, folks, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by cut. Cut is a peer to peer social betting platform. That's us based and legal in 40 different States. P2P social betting is a new and better way to bet. Uh, bet directly against your friends or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes. Uh, plus tons of uh, fun social features that will really give it like a, a nice fun feel of a betting social network. Cut offers uh, lower VIG and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bets, do all that good stuff. Cut handles the payment side of things so you never have to chase anyone down for dollars. Uh, so what are you doing, folks? Check out uh, Cut. That's k u t t dot com. Use that promo code SGPN for a ten percent deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Look, Underdog Fantasy has a way to play alongside your favorite fantasy players all season long. They got NFL, they got NBA, they got NHL, they got college basketball, and they got college football. Simply pick higher or lower in your favorite players' fantasy stats and cash the fuck in, people. So watch now, make picks, and uh, you know, make some extra cash. Uh, when you sign up, sign up with the promo code TCE SGPN underdog will double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars. That's underdog fantasy promo code TCE SGPN. <clears throat> All right. VMI is catching 24 at Sanford. <laughs> no, he's got a lock here. What? No, I'm not betting this one. This one's just the wildest number that the cocktail napkin spit out at me today. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Uh, cocktail napkin spit out a minus 36 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> VMI, of course, they got absolutely destroyed in the last game against Chattanooga 109 to 61. So, I, I just think it's like too much of a all right, guys, let's get our shit together. Let's let's put up an actual fight this game. Sanford, I think, is going to win this one, but you can also lose the game and cover. So, I'm not gonna bet this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the points. Yeah. Um I I I I almost want to bet this. I'm not gonna lie. Like Sanford, we talked about it with the look <laughs> ahead on deck. Uh such a big number. They're not gonna be motivated in this game at all. Uh coming off the Greensboro win, got Western Carolina. If you want VMI, get it before tip. It's only gonna go up. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, let's move along here. Arizona's in Pullman. What could go wrong? Final time to Pullman. Arizona's laying nine. Give me Washington state. I, you can't talk me into a lock here. Oh, I, I love, I love, uh, I love, uh, the Cougs here. I, I think it's a great spot. Obviously Arizona, not the same team away from home. Uh, Washington state, man, like you said, final time, Arizona coming there. Look good against USC on the road. I think that I think they're live dog here. Let's go. They almost Plus beat him nine. last year. Plus almost beat him last year. Let's go. Yeah. Afternoon game in Pullman. Let's go, baby. The Texas Longhorns are heading into Morgantown, West Virginia, and rumor has it, Moneyline Mac. It's gonna be at this game. Maybe a few whiskeys deep. Yeah, I gotta leave in like 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, look, I know I said I'm never taking West Virginia again. I knew you couldn't quit it, baby. But I lied. You know what you're doing here. West Virginia plus six. Right, that money line. Oh, yeah. Morgantown, you'll always be. Oh, sweet home to me. Just got dizzy. My CTE. Um, parlay that with ECU all day. All day. So. Here's the angle. Texas coming off the big win at Cincinnati. West Virginia just lost a home game. Desperate spot again. I mean, you gotta you gotta win a game eventually. They're not going 0-18. Texas final trip to Morgantown, Saturday, six o'clock. Place is gonna be on fire. Gold out, snowstorm. The Texas boys don't want to be in the snow. Mountaineers all day, outright money line. We'll see you guys tomorrow night, baby. Cheers. It's hitting. This is the fucking one. This is the fucking one. Yep. Temple heads to Denton, Texas. They're catching ten and a half points. Give me Temple plus ten and a half off the loss to my East Carolina Pirates. What are you doing here? I'll take Temple. Take Temple. Yeah. Yeah. LSU this is, is a at revenge Auburn. game for yeah. North Texas. Uh, 
Actually, no, it's not. Shit. Uh, they went up to Fordham and lost. That's what I was thinking about. Uh, never mind about the revenge game, but North Texas at home typically plays much better than they do on the road. That defense is very good. Uh, Temple, the, the one thing they that? can't do yeah. is shoot. I mean, they're 305th in three-point percentage. They're 343rd inside the arc in shooting percentage, 337th in effective field goal percentage. North Texas, top 30 in all three of those categories, and also really good uh, causing havoc in the backcourt, creating turnovers. Uh, North Texas, also 26 in offensive rebounding percentage. I think this one is a double-digit win for the Mean Green at home. This is a lock? Yes, it is. Woo! Smash! No, Beanick locking up the mean green. Cocktail napkins got it. Minus 15. Let's go. LSU is going to the jungle. Love Take on the man. Auburn Tigers. Yes, Auburn's laying 14. Wow, this one's climbed a little bit. I like LSU. I do too. We Tigers. I like Auburn. Um, Lock? Yes, this is a lock for me as well. I have back-to-back locks here. Interesting. So, LSU uh, has played two true road games so far this year. They beat Texas A&M when it was a look at spot for the Aggies looking at the Auburn, of course. And they lost by 23 to Syracuse on the road. The jungle's going to be lit for this. I know that to be true. So I think Auburn's rolling right now. Uh, and we don't have to worry about any kind of look at it. It's about to take up Vanderbilt on deck. Uh, I like, I like the Auburn tigers in the tigers battle here. War Eagle. Mm, Lock it mm, up. Mm. Beanick, Beanick, Beanick. Sam Houston States laid one and a half in Murfreesboro. Middle oh, Tennessee's right winning that middle Tennessee, right? I'm going right yeah. back to it. They should have won the other night. Sam Houston yeah. just played all the way in Texas last night, and they they had a hard game. I like it. I, I like Middle Tennessee here. They they should have won the other night. Lock it up. And uh, I it has been brought to my attention. Is this true? I am getting reports out of Reno, Nevada, that the Boise State Broncos <laughs> have covered, and perhaps won outright. Uh, it's still still not official, but uh, God bless this country and four and uh, a half minutes and go Broncos. Uh, Rob, what are we doing here? There's four and a half minutes left. Come yeah, on, just, I just expect better from mush, Rob Donaldson. Yeah, mush me here. No, Jordan he's Mason. got money on this on this team too. Like he's trying to just mush. I expected better from Rob. George Mason's catching three at Richmond. Mason's winning this game. I I like I like the Mason bounce back angle too. And Richmond's coming off the big or shit. Richmond's won five in a row. Give me Mason. I think we should lock this. Let's go, dude. Too bad I'm not in town. I would like to go to this yeah. game. Five Patriot pride. Patriot pride. Let's go. Arkansas Pine Bluffs. APB put out an APB on APB. They're catching eight and a half at Texas Southern. This is no lock because my APBs have been fucking ass this year, but I will take the eight and a half. What are you doing here? I'll take the points. Yeah. <laughs> APB. Oklahoma State's catching 12 and a half into Ames. Why do I feel like we should take Oklahoma State here? We should. They've won back to back years in Ames. I actually think they're live to win the game. Oh, Iowa State just won their Super Bowl. Let's lock up. Yes. Let's lock up them cow. How about them yeah. cowboys? Oh, Iowa State struggles to score at home unless they're playing a top five. Team. Well, I guess they only scored fifty-seven the other night. Still, <laughs> yeah. Um, Houston's at TCU in Fort Worth. Houston's laying four. Oh, this line is coming down. This is I a think, big. De- this is a big debate on the co- uh, Big Twelve experience. Earlier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a big debate on the SGP show too. Yeah. Um, Give me TCU. This yeah. is this is another welcome to the Big Twelve. This back is not back a lock for me. You locking this? Yeah, I think TCU is going to win. 
I think they can go physicality for physicality here, man. And TCU, I know it's actually a little bit lit there, and they play on that fucked up court, and they're really good at home. Houston is going to find out what it's like going back-to-back road spots in the Big 12. They lose two this week. Give me TCU. Money line. Money line. Mag is locking it up. I'll lock up this one. Jackson State's laying five and a half at Alabama A&M. Jackson State's a much better team than all these fucking teams in the SWAC. They've been they've been cashing for me. You haven't been paying attention. They've been cashing for me. Jackson State minus five and a half back. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'll take Jackson. Oh God, we might have got a mush because this is a fucking game all of a sudden. Mississippi Valley State <laughs> is catching fourteen points at Prairie View. <laughs> Give me the points. What are you doing here? I'll take the points. This dude, this oh man, this is a two point game, dude, with three and a half minutes all of a sudden. Hey Rob Donaldson, you <laughs> piece of absolute shit. <laughs> oh my god, all the momentum. <laughs> god. Um all right, next up. St. Mary's is at Santa Clara. St. Mary's is like the best team in the fucking country right now. <laughs> this is going to be a lock. St. Mary's is laying five and a half at Santa Clara. Lock. Yeah, this has to be a lock, right? Santa lock. Clara coming off the biggest win in the program history. Put all your history. money. Put Gale. all your money. Borrow yeah. my steel money. Be like, they're going to think your family's going to think you're fucking doing heroin. Go steal, steal your mom's jewelry, pawn all of her fucking jewelry, and bet this fucking game. Let's go. Is this a triple lock? Yes, triple fucking lock all day. All right, this is just it's too easy. It's three easy. triple locks now. Cameron Kerr coming back from vacation today. The graphic's gonna be out. We've got at least three. Uh, UNC Asheville minus two, Butler minus three and a half, and St. Mary's minus five. Let's go. Bang. Oh, let's go. Eastern Washington's laying six and a half at Idaho. Get the fuck out of here. This line reeks. <laughs> Get line the reeks. fuck out of here. This line fucking reeks. I'm taking E dub. I'm not locking it because I saw last year was only a seven point game in Moscow. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm going to take Idaho. I think it's telling you to take Idaho. Eat up wins. Phoenix. I am locking up my Vandals. Uh, this what? is a big, this is a big game for Idaho. And they shoot the 48 most threes in the country. E dubs defense around the perimeter. 321st opponents. 36 and a half percent from whoa, three. Whoa, 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 I, whoa. I think this is a very high scoring game. Idaho at home. They've had this one circled against last year's conference regular season champ. Hang on. Hang on. Idaho. All the analytics you're spewing out, in my opinion, are cockanemi shit. Because listen to me here. The non con for Eastern Washington at Utah. Next next game yes. at Ole Miss. Yes. Next game at I'm Cincinnati. Totally, next game I'm at totally Stanford. Away. Next game at Washington State. Next game at USC. Next game. Later yes, at Coley. Washington, I, I was on that angle in the non-conference. I, I when we were talking about like Washington State and them playing USC, we were backing them there. We also backed them against Washington at work. I've been riding Eastern Washington as well, but the Vandals All the have analytics been are my bullshit, squad. Though. They've been my squad this year. I just you know think what? Where's my I theme music? Where's my theme? Yeah, music? Lock let's go. Me. Let's go. You. You're right, taking the road go. team in conference play. I like the spot Idaho here. Idaho hasn't been Come relevant on. since fucking what? You know, E Dub has Weaver State on deck, and you're just walking. Weaver into the State trap. just lost the Sac State. You're They're just not looking at that the fucking trap. game. Walking yeah. right into it. Why Phoenix on a rare, Phoenix on a rare, State on a rare dog here. <laughs> This is this is my squad. Idaho has been my squad. You guys have ripped on me for being a t- potato lover the last UNC month. Greensboro is at Chattanooga. Greensboro's laying one and a half. Uh, 
Um, I was thinking about this one, man. I I like Greensboro. Greensboro. I like Greensboro too. I thought they looked good the other night against a good Sanford team that I know everybody loves. Give me Greensboro. Let's go. Uh sorry, I'm just score checking. It's uh 53 50 with two and a half left. What what could go wrong here? Drexel. Go to overtime and then Nevada will come. You know, when you yeah. declare <laughs> things like it's the election, um, we, we had a recent president declare that he had won the election and then it turned mm. out he lost. So like mm. that might not have been the most perfect thing to say, I guess. <laughs> Demand a <laughs> recount. It was a perfect thing to say. It's America. Everybody, there's what didn't uh, there's been like 20 stolen elections. Yeah. Let's go. Just right. made him eligible for this next election. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Drexel's at Elon. Red truth. Drex, Drexel's laying seven and a half. I'm going, I'm, I'm laying it. Elon's Elon's not good. Lay it. What are you doing? Dude, Drexel, I'm with you. Drexel's so fucked up. Uh, give me, give me Drexel. I think. <laughs> yeah. Miami's at Virginia tech. Oh, boy. oh man! Do I bet for do I bet Miami here? <laughs> I I don't know if I've ever done this. I am. Give me Miami minus two and a half in Blacksburg. System play. I feel like easy money sitting there. What are you doing here? I'll join you. <laughs> fucking Miami. I'm fucking worried that we're gonna shit themselves here though. They're so soft. My God. No, no, no. They're going to handle this shit. Get this hokey nonsense out of here. Uh, Missouri State's at Evansville. Evansville's catching three and a half. <laughs> Both these teams have faded lately. Evansville sucks. Missouri State's been ass lately, too, though, man. Um, I know. Give me Missouri State. Yeah, I'll go Missouri State, but don't bet these two fucking teams. <laughs> Ball State's catching 12 at Toledo. What, what? Give me Ball State. That's like fringe lock because I feel like they can cover anything. Anytime Ball State's not horrible. No, they're not. It. I'll take the points. I'm with you. Yeah. Bryant is at New Hampshire. New Hampshire's laying two. Wrong team favored. Give me the Bryant Bulldogs. What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, no. I'll, I'll take uh I agree with you. Weber State is laying five at Portland State. Weber State's coming off a loss. Do we bet all of our money on Weber State? The only concern is Portland State's off de- back-to-back losses, but I do like the bounce back. Yeah, I'm going to lock up Weber with you. Let's go. Let's go with them Wildcats. <laughs> The Mexicans are hosting Utah Valley, and the Mexicans are a three point dog. Give me the Mexicans plus three. You can't fade a good thing until you start losing. All right, let's go. What are you doing here? Yeah, no, the Mexicans have been playing better. Uh, almost beat Abilene Christian in overtime, almost beat Stephen F. I kind of think the Mexicans are going to win the game. I want to lock the Mexicans here. Let's go. It's one of those ones you just keep riding until you lose. And we've won so much in a row on the Mexicans. It's hard to go away. And our team. Drake is laying two and a half at the Salukis. No, no, no. Southern Illinois beats Drake tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Lock it up. Phoenix, I see her here. Yeah, this is a cocktail napkin uh, edge here as well. I needed a little bit of a push on it. I think the wrong team's favorite as well. Cocktail napkin's got this thing minus three for Southern Illinois. Yeah, Tri- I agree. Triple lock? Yeah, Dra- Drake's coming three. off the Indiana State win earlier in the week. Yep. Arbondale at night. Let's go. Southern Illinois, then. Fourth triple lock of the show. Wow. Is that a record? Charlotte. Why do I not see this line? Charlotte's kept laying five at UTSA. Give me the Roadrunners. No. 
Meet me. Yeah, give me give me the Roadrunners. They're playing better this year, man. I agree. Northern Colorado is at Montana State. Can they do the Montana sweep? The Bears are laying one and a half. Not so fast. Give me Montana State. Give me Montana State too. Good home team. Good culture. Tarleton State is at Grand Canyon. Mm. Tarleton just got drilled. The fuck is this line? The fuck is uh, Grand Canyon is laying thirteen. Give me the points. I'll lay. It. I, 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 Grand, I I will not fake Grand Canyon on the road. Uh, Abilene Christian, I mean at home. Abilene Christian, Zach Cal Baptist. Baptist is laying five and a half. Lay it. Yeah, I like I like Cal Baptist at home as well. This is actually fringe lock. I mean, yeah, I'm with you. Let's go. Let's go. I think that's a good. Good at home, man. I think that's a good play. Yeah. Give me Baptist minus five and a half. The Tommies are heading to Bob Roberts. Bob Roberts is laying one. No, no, no. Give me the Tommies to win on the road. Mac. I'm going to fade the Tommies again. I think they're too popular right now. They got to come back down to earth. North Dakota state's catching two and a half at Omaha. Give me the bison plus two and a half Mac. What's up? I mean, I, I feel like the bison have been in every single game. They just can't get over the hump recently. I, I don't, or I guess they won double overtime the other night. Uh, I'll take North Dakota state here, but I'm not locking it because they're coming off the double overtime game. Cal is catching eight at Oregon. This is a lock <sighs> on Cal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cal Cal's playing some good basketball right now. I'll join you. They're going to keep covering. I love Let's Cal. go. Golden bears plus eight. Let's let's ride. Fuck, they were down fucking 20 the other night to Colorado and still covered. Okay, you want you want stink? You Eastern got? Kentucky's only laying one at North Alabama. What? I feel like EKU is way better than them. I do too. We thought, but you know, we thought it sunk the other night. Um, I think I'm we locked EKU. EKU. I'm locking EKU. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to dive just, into I, it. I, I, yeah, I just think they're a better team. They're, they have better players. I think Let's they go. missed this one. Yeah. Stephen F. Austin's laying six and a half at Southern Utah. They lost the other night at Dixie State. Bounce back spot. Stephen F. Austin covers. Mac? Yeah, bounce back. I'm with you. Alabama heads into Starkville. Mississippi State's laying two. Hell State. They win by three. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm a lock Hale state. They're different in that building, man. I, I don't trust Alabama on the road. I do not trust Alabama at all away from home. Give me Hale state in prime time. Let's go. Solo lock for you. Hail state. Idaho state's catching one and a half at Sac state. Sac state came through the other night. Make it two in a row. I can't trust these Idaho. Schools. No. Yeah. California against Idaho. I think you got to take. Give me, give me Sac State minus one and a half. Don't I'm like. It. Don't bet this game. I'm with you. Northern Arizona is getting thirteen and a half at Montana. What the fuck has happened in Northern Arizona lately? I know they're falling apart. Montana just lost to Northern Colorado. Still too many points for me to lay. Give me Northern Arizona. Same. Yep. Pacific heads. <laughs> To Loyola Marymount to take on Kelly LaPepe and company. Loyola is laying 16 points. <laughs> I got to take the points here. And I actually think, I actually think we should consider locking it. I'm saying away. I feel like they're telling us they're going to get fucking drilled. Yeah. San Jose States catching one in Colorado Springs against air force. No, no, no. Give me San Jose state. Air Force sucks. Lock it up, San Jose State. What are you doing here? I'm on Air Force. I don't trust San Jose State away from home. USC is catching ten and a half now. Damn, this one this line went up. 
in Boulder against Colorado. I'm on the buffs minus 10 and a half Mac. This is a lock. Colorado is going to fucking win by 20 altitude off. How many losses in a row now? This is the buffs all day. Buffalo's win this one going away. Let's go. I'm all over this one. This is the Miami game all over again. All right. Colby, yeah, did you hit Cincy Baylor? Just look out. Just watch him go. Buffs minus 10 and a half. No, I missed Cincy Baylor. Uh, Baylor minus six and a half. When it was seven and a half, I was thinking Cincy would be the smart play. Six and a half makes it tougher, but I'm still riding Cincinnati in the points. Mac, give me Cincy. Close Final game. game on the slate. You see, Riverside is going all the way to the island. But damn it, it's seven point spread, man. Riverside has, loss. but Riverside's playing all right lately, man. All right, give me Hawaii minus seven, but no lock. What are you doing here? Um, yeah, I, I will probably end up betting this. If I do, I'll take Hawaii. Bounce back. Did I miss the Santa Barbara game? Yeah. Who are they yes. playing? What am I? Long Beach State is at UC Santa Barbara. I'm seeing Santa Barbara minus one. See, it's a chippy rivalry, by the way. I went to this game last year. Should we I mean, bet? I can't take Santa Barbara right now, but they're the better team. I mean, I'm sorry. Long Beach State is probably the more talented team this year, but I just feel like I'm actually going to ride Santa Barbara again. Minus one. I like Back. Santa Barbara. Yeah, Santa Barbara. Here we go. UC San Diego's at Cal Poly. San Diego's laying 10. You see San Diego's laying 10. I can't do it. Give me Cal Poly plus 10. Mac? Yeah, I'm with you. That is our fucking show. It only took us two hours, 40 minutes. There was a dust up last year, Gary. Uh, there was a some texts as well. It was fun. Santa um, Barbara is a fringe lock, everybody. I, I I like them at home in this desperate spot in a rivalry game. They were looking ahead too. People say, oh, they barely got by Bakers for the other night. That that's because Long Beach was on deck, probably. Um, I know they haven't looked great this year, though. But uh, what is the what is the, the there's so many locks. I I don't know which one I feel. I feel like b- the, the best about like seven games. Um, the one that stands out to me most would be. I don't know. There's a lot that I like on the fucking board. Uh, I like a and I love the A&M spot. New I love, Mexico. Love the New Mexico spot. Actually, that might be my favorite. Uh, JM, JMU spot. I kind of like, um, no, but a and I would, I would agree with you. A&M and, uh, New Mexico seem to be two that I really like. Wait, there was a bunch. What was I saying? Take all your money and put it on. Asheville? No, that wasn't the no. one that he he did. Um, There's too many fucking games. Uh, <laughs> check the picks fucking page. We need a we need a thing to 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 rank the locks. Um, who the fuck did I say was my favorite? St. Mary's. St. Mary's. At yes, Santa Clara. that is the one. That is the one right there. I still don't even think that was the one that you said put your mortgage on or whatever you did. I think it was. Um, <clears throat> so that was one of the uh, the triple locks, St. Mary's minus five. The other three were UNC Asheville minus two, Butler minus three and a half, and then my favorite bet of the night is Southern Illinois plus three at home against Drake, and that was also a triple lock. Whew. Shout out to Trevor, by the way. I agree. They need to take one third of the games on a Saturday and move them around Friday and Sunday. I completely yes. agree. Just put them completely all on Friday. Agree. Just put fucking put them all on Friday. Because Sunday until like NFL season ends, I understand why they want to dodge it. But Friday, I mean, there's nothing going on. Friday. on. Vanderbilt was one of mine actually. Vanderbilt's one of mine, but no, yes. I, I I still think St. Mary's. That was is the that one. was the one that you said mortgage or whatever. Vanderbilt was. Yeah. 
There's I like five or six that I actually fucking love on the card that I bet a shit ton of, but I Vanderbilt's the one with the juiciest money line to me. Let's ride Mac. What's it. your top one? A and M. Yeah. All right, Follow, folks. Follow get, buds. Better there we group. go. If you're going to the, the game in Morgantown, hit up money line Mac. All right. That's in there. That's in my top five locks tomorrow. They're going to win tomorrow. Let's go. There you go. Uh, give money line Mac a follow on Twitter at moneyline underscore Mac Noah Phoenix on Twitter at Noah B seventy seven underscore. Uh, I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. Folks, we see 300 people watching this live. Can you please a hit the like button? Also subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It really helps us on YouTube. If you can, if you get some downtime watching this games, uh, give us a five star review on iTunes. That always helps. Uh, yeah. Until next time, folks, I'm tired of talking to you guys, but I love you guys. All right. But I'm just tired of fucking talking. Um, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm doing a pregame show tomorrow night. We have our, our next college basketball show for look at the Sunday matchups. So and big 12 tomorrow, yes, right before you and the big 12, right before there we fucking go. People until next time, this is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours and we out of here.